is so stupid it's positively brilliant. The brilliant the nervous over here. Good. Nerves are good. I think yeah, nerves me, push I start it. Feeling like I'm a you know. You ready? Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the brilliant idiots, and uh, we don't have no pre-roll. No. Um, so you might as well start with the church announcements. Where are you going to be at, Schultz? Chicago this weekend. Okay. Uh, we'll be at Thalia Hall Theater. Both shows sold out. Thank y'all. Uh, next weekend, we're back in the city, and then we're going to Moscow, Russia. Pray for us. You going to Russia? Yeah, we're going to do a show in <laughs> Russia. Wow. Man. It's going to be wild, man. That's going to be Call your wild. boy Trumpy to make sure you get the red carpet. Come on, dog. You know, Putin <laughs> meet me at the airport. Collusion. <laughs> and then we got Australia the 20th to the 29th. You should get a no collusion shirt to wear in Russia. Son, I'm wearing a Rocky shirt on stage. You know that. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> we got to make these viral moments. <laughs> Listen, um, we got to- Australia. Get them tickets for Australia. Those you went to Australia quick, too? Man. Yeah, I'm going to go the 20th to the 29th. The fucking internet September, is the motherfucker, bro. Son, it's the best. Jesus it's Christ. It's the best. It's the best. You know, you know, it's so funny. I was talking to somebody this morning because uh, me and them did something. And, um, you know, YouTube is always the play for me. I just think, like, why not? Oh, like, I'd rather call YouTube and connect with them and let them do a big, you know, Beyonce Coachella rollout. He's like, nah, I let's go it. to a network. And I'm like, for what? For what? <laughs> like, Bro, why? The reason I was able to start touring internationally is because of your influence internationally. You had this mat Breakfast Club mm -hmm. before the beginning of Brilliant Idiots, but Breakfast Club was like the source for hip hop information internationally. Like hip hop is this nah, mat, nah, it's nah, the nah, big most right. popular music in the world. So when they would go every day to find you know news about hip hop, London, Amsterdam, I mean like Oslo, all these places they would go there for. It. And then when we started doing Idiots, it exposed me to all these. You know, fans that were around the bro, world. Bro, we've done the podcast in London. Bro, in that and we early. Not only, we did it not early. Fucking London. There we go. But it's, but it is it, on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Same shit with my stand up. That's what happened. It's just it just went crazy. I, try, I tried to walk around the mall in South Africa. Not happening. Like oh. All right. And they found you around other black people. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know they say when you go to Africa, it's always somebody that looks like you. They're like, no, that's him. That's, that's actually him. But nah, salute to the internet, man. I, it's the game changer. Now, we have a, a young lady in the building right now. Um, you may know her. You may not know her. If you follow Cardi B, I'm sure that you know her. Mm. Cardi B has a best friend. Mm. Uh, her name is Star Brim. Now, is it five Star Brim or just Star Brim? It's just Star Brim. What does Star Brim mean? It means my name is Star and I'm blood. So that's oh, wow. Means. Okay, I didn't know. <laughs> oh, that's right. The star <laughs> the is the mean, sign for brim. Is the set I'm in? Oh, oh I, I didn't I know thought that. Star oh, yeah. is blood. I thought that's why like no. uh, bloods have that like tattoo on them. No, five point star represents blood, but star is my name. Like my name oh. is star. Mm -hmm. Like regular, everybody calls me star. That's really? Yeah. And brim is like slang for blood. Yeah, for the my blood set. My blood set. I'm gonna be honest with you. You're the prettiest blood I've ever seen in my life. You know, I, 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 they be looking hurt out here, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, of course. Right, right. So, yeah, them bitches be looking bad. They be looking like they went through the worst of life. How does a beautiful young lady like you become a blood? So, first of all, where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn. You're from Brooklyn. I'm from the floors. Okay. Yep. All right. So, how does a beautiful lady like you become a blood? Um, I had to fight five niggas. That's how I became. <laughs> no, I, I'm just, wait a minute. <laughs> we can get to the process of how you actually got jumped in jumped later. In, jumped in, yeah. Oh, I'm, <laughs> but I'm so excited, guys. You don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know how I became. Like, I'm yeah, about to like, take off my sandals. That's the process. <laughs> what was your upbringing like is what okay, I mean. Okay, so basically, from the outside looking in, I had a really good upbringing. Like, I went on a whole bunch of vacations. You know, I was always fly. I had the newest everything. But I came from, like, an abusive mom where when she drank, she got abusive. But it will only be that one day out the week. It's mm -hmm. not something that she did every day. So it was right. like me being young, being like five, six years old. After a while, I realized, okay, Fridays... Stay that, out. That's the day to hide because that's the day she's going to yeah. come in and she's wow. going to whoop your ass. Like, you understand? For no apparent reason. Mm -hmm. So, um... I didn't realize until I went to jail why I turned blood. One day, my lawyer was looking at me. He's going through, like, the files and everything. And he's like, you had a good upbringing. Like, you didn't have, you know, food stamps. You didn't have welfare. Mm -hmm. Why the fuck did you turn this? And I'm like... I don't know. You know, like, I don't, I don't fucking know. I've been in it since 12. Like, I've been blood since 12 years old. I didn't even know how to wash my ass correctly at 12. So I'm looking like, I don't know. One day I'm reading all the letters mm. that the, my peoples have to write to the judge to explain the type of character I am. So I'm reading my sister's letter. One of my older sisters, she's 10 years older than me. So we didn't even grow up in the same household. By the time I was 10, she was 20 and out of here. So I'm reading it. 
and she got abused too. Mm. And this whole time I didn't know. This Friday, your mom. By my mom. Okay. But this, only Fridays, right? Only Fridays. Yeah. But, so this whole time I didn't even know that my sister was going through the same shit as me. Like, you feel me? So she mm. basically was telling the judge, like, I feel so bad. I feel like I abandoned my sister mm. and I left her, you know, to my mom knowing mm. what, you know, once we leave, it's going to go pass on to the next one and pass on to the next one. And I didn't even know that. And then I'm like, maybe that's why. I went to the street because I was getting my ass beat at home. You wanted to and since I family. couldn't beat my mom, I'm going to beat these other bitches up outside. Wow. Like, you understand? Like, yeah. that's just how my mentality was. I used to sit there and really like, all right, next person who hit the corner, I'm going to fuck her up. And I used to have no excuse. And I used to just beat the bitch up that next but person. you was redistributing so pain. Yeah. Basically, yeah. like, and I didn't realize that until now being older. Like, just last year, I'm 28 now. Mm. And I've been blessed since I was 12. And just last year, I realized... Why did I even really turn this? Like I, I've been it for so long. I never even questioned why did I, have a I question. go to the street. Yeah. You, you're seeing these girls that you're beating up, right? Mm -hmm. And you must know that you're more attractive than them. Um, it wasn't all the times that I was attracted to them. I didn't. No, care. more attractive than them. Yeah, I didn't, Jesus I didn't, Christ! No, 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 no. I, like, I wasn't attracted to all of them. Yeah. <laughs> only beat up a couple and ate them out, but it's just, just a couple. No. All right. Definitely not gay. Okay. <laughs> That's what that Come over like. here, honey. Let me make you feel I better. I put my pussy in jail, so let me just put really? that out there that I oh, am not. I want to get into that. Get to all of that. Let's okay. start. Get the origin story out gay. the way. Like fighting someone that's uh, way uglier than you. You have so much more to lose. Did you ever calculate that? I didn't care at stuff like that. Like when I was young and I was cutting these bitches face open I didn't give a fuck if I got my face cut open like I was a tomboy at that time right. I didn't have nothing to live for like so you understand you like you came into yourself and you came into your attractiveness later in life you, you didn't even see times. yourself as attractive at that young age you no were just... I didn't see myself as attractive and any guy like that I used to talk to when I look at pictures and I think of all the guys I used to talk to back then I used to be like these motherfuckers is gay because I was like Boy, boyish. Oh, like, you were boy a, like, you were a safe expression of gay. I was my boy. You were a beard. So, for you to be attracted to me, yeah. you like niggas. You really want to fuck a nigga. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't really want to fuck me. You want a guy, but, no, but you, you know, you I'm might, here. You might have felt that way because of the abuse from your mom. So maybe you just didn't feel pretty, but maybe you was fly. I bet Yo, you if I look at your old listen, pictures, like, no, like, nah. I was fly when it comes to like, Cloak, but I was not fly. No, you wouldn't want to fuck me. No, you weren't. Yeah, yeah, mm. you weren't sexy. I was not sexy. You were I was cool. a kid. I was cutting bitches' face open. I was fighting niggas. I was putting like what's that I used like? To put tuna What's it like Listen, to cut someone's on, face on. open? What? Yeah. I, used to, I used to be so scared. It's easy. It's I, easy. I got one for you if you need it. No, no, yeah. I don't want. I just what is that feeling like? Because I've cut on. myself shaved. I need to. You didn't hear tuna can. I need to hear what the fuck. Did Wait, you what did you say about a tuna okay, can? Okay, so listen, what I used to do, right? Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? I'm sick of getting kicked out of these motherfucking schools for beating bitches up with locks in a sock. So this is what I'm going to do. This is me at 13 years old, dumb as fuck. Like, you feel me? I'm going to put a tuna, tuna fish can in a sock and I'm going to beat her up with that. And when the principal asked me why I had it, this was my lunch. Ah. I didn't think about, bitch, how you, you don't have a can opener. You know, you don't have no mayo. <laughs> like, you don't have none of that. No mayonnaise. So when no. I got caught with the tuna fish can, they're like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, it was my lunch. And they're like, so how you was going to open it? Lunch lady. How how was wow. how was you gonna open this to eat it? Wow. You really gonna tell us that? And I'm that's the story I'm sticking to. It's lunch. So you beat a shorty down with a tuna fish can? Yes. That's amazing. Can you imagine getting beat I, down with a, I, a, a, a I beat a guy up with sunkiss? a tuna fish can too because I used to get fucked up by guys all the time and I never used to want to accept it. So every single time I got beat up by, you know, a boy being young. I just went and got a tuna fish can or a lock or some, you know, pennies. And I came back and just ragged their ass. And it's like, I won now, you know? And, Who but was I didn't, the boys you was beating up? Like guys you was dating or just dudes in general was trying you? It was just guys in general. It was just like, I'm a gang member. You understand? I'm, I'm being hardcore as the niggas. So I had to gain respect because I'm not getting respected. So it's like, all right, I'm going to gain it. I'm so glad I'm they gentrified Brooklyn. <laughs> 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 Thank you, white people. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You know what? <laughs> I'm actually concerned because we might have just brought more tuna. <laughs> How'd you get money when you was young? Because you say you was buying all of this stuff and you was always fly. Like, where was that my, money coming my from? My mom and my dad was like, they take care of me. Like, I didn't I didn't never, like, hustle or, you know, sell yeah. drugs when I was younger and stuff like that. Like, no, it was my pops used to give me $100 as a weekly expense from young. And then I used to just be saving it. Like, I used to be the trick. I used to be tricking on my niggas and everything. Like, I used to be the one with the money. So it's like, I used to just save it up, save it up. Like, and my pops knew because I was, like, so much tomboyish, he spent a lot of more money on me when it comes to fashion because my little sister just liked the pretty things. You understand? So mm -hmm. you could take her any, like, little girly store and she just liked the little girly cheap stuff with me. I feel like since I'm a tomboy, Boy, I gotta have true religions, you know, and stuff like that. I gotta have the name brand boy stuff. Like, you wasn't fucking with Rainbow. No. 
Or, or pretty girl. When no. did you when did you become who you are now? Like when did you start to embrace your femininity and because I don't find you as a masculine woman. When I walked in here, I thought you, you were gotta you gotta talk to me about some gang shit. Well the second you, know, you said Kanar told you she beat people down with a tuna can. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> right. Even that. I know involves, we got this whole gender role shit going no, on. Charlamagne, you have to think that involves cooking a little. You know what I mean? Like that is it's groceries. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Grocery, it's, it's, there's feminine things going on here. Like. Okay, I think. Okay, so when I was young, right, guys, used, I didn't lose my virginity till I was like seventeen. So right. that's guys, good. Yeah, yeah, that's, so, that's, yeah, that's yeah. good. I then that's bad too because <laughs> I remember getting my titty sucked at like 13, 14 right. in, in the classroom of, you know, in the closet of the classroom and I'll come out and I'll tell all my friends like, oh my God, I just got my titty sucked. And they like, bitch, we fucking. Like, fuck is you talking about? And I'm looking at them like, you're fucking? Like, wait, dicking you? Like, you for real? How would feel? Like, you understand? Like, I'm yeah. asking all these questions. Yeah. I didn't start developing too late, but I used to get so upset because I feel like all the guys around me used to be like, Star, you too aggressive. You too, you know, you need to slim down. You need to, you know, be more feminine. So when I started sitting here dressing girly and stuff like that, I'm a thought now. So it's like, wait, uh-huh. when do when do I win? Because when I'm sitting here and, you know, I'm a boy, boyish, I'm too aggressive. But mm-hmm. now that I'm dressing girly, mm-hmm. I'm a thought. I'm a thought and I didn't even get no dick yet. Like, you understand? Like, yeah. how, mm. how am I a thought and I, didn't even, I don't even know how dick feels. Like, mm. what do you... I didn't know women brag about that kind of shit. So if I, like, all the girls I fingered in high school would go tell their other homegirls, like, yo. Yeah, we tell. Really? Unless unless we feel like they gonna judge, you know? Yeah. But, like, yeah, I was excited. Like, it felt good. Like, I was excited. I needed to tell somebody this. I can't tell my mother. Like, you know, like, who I'm gonna tell? So, I gotta tell somebody. Why didn't the teachers in Brooklyn care that you was just in the closet with a guy? It was mad. Cl- Listen, because isn't this so funny? They didn't know. And we used to, like, find classrooms that used to be open and we used to cut in it. Like, you know, so we'll finally, like, we'll go through every classroom and try to jingle every lock and be like, oh, this one is open. Yeah. We ain't here for the day. Like, yeah. you know? Yeah. And shit like that. So, they didn't know, but the other bitches was fucking while I was just getting my titties sucked. In the closets? Yeah. Wow, they probably was fucking teachers. What, 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 what did your father and mother do? Um, my mom worked for as a nurse at one point. Then she worked for the New York Tolls. Now she doesn't work nowhere because you, you know all the New York Tolls is shut down. And my father owns a construction company, so he's just been owning that since I was young. Before I was born, he owned a strip club. Now this is amazing because listen, they always say that you know we we turn to lives of crime or we get into gangs because there isn't no parents in the house. You know what I mean? Right. Or somebody didn't have their father there. They didn't mm. have their mother and there. You had two, both in the I house. Have both, and they're still together to this day. Wow. But one thing I did notice is that when I was in jail every single person i don't give a fuck if you was white or purple every person been through something whether you was touched whether you came from an abusive family Mm. whether your family had so much money but you wasn't getting no type of real love like Mm. nobody was really effective Mm -hmm. like you know affectionate and stuff like that everybody like even the white people that was in jail that wanted to you know be all privileged Mm. i could just tell when i used to ask them about their stories you know stuff like that or sad or they're they're so privileged but you never get in the visit sis yeah Mm. your family not even coming up here yeah but you got an account. Like, you feel me? Loaded with money. You got right. $8,000 loaded with money, but All you're not getting no mail. You, yeah. you know, nobody's answering your phone calls when you call. Yeah. And it's just, that's it. Yeah. What's more important? People coming to visit you and then taking that time to write you letters and answer your calls or people keeping your commissary full? Um, I feel like, to me, I would say people come in. Coming mm. to visit you mm. and stuff like that because at the end of the day you get three meals a day in jail. Like you understand, and you can hustle. Like you could always, oh, I'm gonna make up your bed if you know you could give me a tuna pack. People learn how to do, you know, knit and crochet. <laughs> you know, tuna. it's Yo, tuna. It's tuna. Tuna is your life. Tuna, lady. <laughs> <laughs> okay, salmon. Let's say salmon. Salmon. Let's say salmon. Tuna played a big role in your I'll life. A big role. Yeah. You know, I lived off a of tuna in jail, but um, <laughs> so I would, I would, I would, <laughs> I would honestly say that because it keeps you out of trouble. You understand? Mm-hmm. If I know I got something looking forward to, if I know that, you know, I could call somebody. Like, I used to be on the phone and I used to hear bitches next to me begging for $20. Like, do you know how that feels to hear her on the phone? Like, please, dad, please, please, 20 I just need 20 You know what the fuck $20 could do? Nothing. Word. It can't mm-hmm. do nothing for you in jail. Nothing. Like, $20 literally is shit. Like, on a bad month, I spent like six, $700 in jail every month. Commissary is three twenty, right? For you to sit here and do your commissary, that's how much you could spend for the month three hundred and twenty dollars. Okay. So okay. if you sit here, so now each phone call is fifteen dollars, and that's only for um five minutes. 
And it's then it's fifteen fifteen dollars for five minutes. And then if you want fifth, listen. Then if you want fifteen minutes, you got to calculate that. So imagine how much you're spending on a phone. Then if you want the texting service, like to you know do texting and do True Links and stuff like that from the computer. Each True Link, I think, is like. Three dollars or something like that, or two dollars, you know. So it's like it adds up. Me, I'm sitting here want to text everybody. I want to write everybody. I want to use the phone. I'm running out of minutes. You only get a certain minutes a, a month. You understand? I'm putting money on your account because now I want to use your phone, bitch. And I want to use. I want new sweatpants this month. I want right. to live like I'm in the outside. You understand? I want new yeah. sneakers instead of one sneakers. I want to put money on your account because I want two sneakers this month. Like you know, it's just certain so stuff like that. So how do you like get that. that money? Are you getting it inside prison? No, me. Hustler, I would, I would you say have here, I would have my outside. mom send it to somebody. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So your mom is on the outside mm -hmm. and she's taking care of you. Yeah, you but I used to, to hustle and I used to sit there and get some makeup brought in and I used to sell that shit because these bitches love makeup. Hold on. Where you used to get They're, makeup from? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't tell you my source. <laughs> but I thought that you had. To, I thought you could only have a certain amount of makeup. I didn't know you could have makeup in jail at all. Yeah, yeah you could have makeup in jail. Y'all didn't see For my what? pictures. I was looking beaut. Now Why you said, would you, you have are, makeup? You are, you are, you I was are. looking. What do you mean? I Who are you trying to impress? Me. <laughs> like, you you want to feel good. I need to look good, good for me. Yeah, I need yeah, to yeah. feel like I'm still alive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I be wanting to walk around jail looking dead like you and you and you. Like, <laughs> like no. You done did 15 years. You looking horrible. Yeah, no, bitch. Yeah. I need to look like I'm here. Like, I don't got life. I'm coming home, boo-boo. You know you're coming home. No, for real. Absolutely. Absolutely. I need to make sure my shit is still sharp by the time I walk out. Like, no. I need makeup. I need so lip gloss. I need eyelashes. In the, you had fake eyelashes. You I smuggled fake eyelashes into prison and hair glue so that it could get on <laughs> yes wow yes. okay needed the hair no, glue the, the CEO the shit don't say nothing to you how they gonna know they I'm doing it why, why a I'm more telling? ugly chicks because one day you got eyelashes one day you don't but no because the thing is it's like this too you can like hey not eyelashes but you can make makeup like you understand you can use coffee and water and make makeup you can use cool, like Kool-Aid and um Vaseline to make lip gloss like you know so it's like you don't know what the fuck we doing we're creative like you understand I know how to sit here and make a pot so, using <laughs> just my, my my bottom of my cell bunk like great. you know like I sit here you cut the like you cut a wire you put them two wires together they get hot you put that on that's how you make grilled cheese tortillas right. like I know how to gel you know like yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah. they don't know what we making you know what's so yeah. whack about that why don't they just let y'all have forming grills like like what's the what's the problem they'll just hit each other with them <laughs> Just you know, upstate they have hot answer. pots, but you not don't want the them hitting each other with the farm Like in upstate, when you go to like upstate prisons yeah. and stuff like that, they give you like a little hot pot. So like, and you could sit there and really make real meals because you have a little hot pot. It's you like could a boil stove. Boil water with you it. Could or boil something? water. You could do all that. But they yeah. give you books. Okay, so. In the feds, they used to have microwaves. That's how you used to be able to make your food. And they then, took all the microwaves away. So now all we have is 108 degrees of water. So that's how we make everything. Everything is boiling water. So I can make curry chicken and rice and all this other stuff just with hot water. So you came out of prison and you were like a full beautician. Yeah. Like you learned how to do it ground up. I know how to do it scratch. Like I could make some shit. You know what's so dope about that though? Think wow. about your perception in life, right? Like yeah. you walk down a grocery store aisle, you see some coffee, you think coffee. Yeah. Star walks down, she sees makeup. makeup. She and, you see and, blush. And you could use coffee to make your hair grow. Like this, really? yeah, like this. Yeah, I'm telling y'all. Break that down. Come I'm on, break it down. Yeah, I don't want to break it down because I don't like these bald headed bitches. You feel me? They don't give me credit. So I can't tell everything. You feel me? I can't tell everything. Wants it for him. But if you go on my page, you can see I got hang time. I ain't get this for no reason. <gasps> you don't want to give them the coffee man secret? No, I be telling them y'all going to keep y'all no edges because at the end of the day, y'all ungrateful. So I ain't giving y'all bitches edges. Yo, I ain't giving y'all bitches edges. What did you do edges. to keep down here? They're, they're laid. At, they're laid. I got that right. That was pretty good. We're gonna do so a jail beauty book. Remember, Prodigy yeah. came out and he did yeah. that jail cookbook. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna do the jail beauty book. But how do you lay the edges while you're in prison? What do you use for that? They sell jam. They sell edge control. Oh, they do. Yeah. So that's one thing they will not have. Yeah, they sell edge control. They sell like um, CoverGirl makeup. That's from like. 18 years ago that's expired and dried out that you gotta add some water and shake up a few times and let overnight wow. and sit um, they have lipstick that is gone like you know right. they have old shit like even like honey buns you know that I was busting down they're old they're, they're expired they was like stale yeah but I'm fine with that what you do warm it up and make it a little soft wet it a little bit we don't got no microwave but all I did was put it inside of a plastic bag and dip it into that hot water and just let it uh -huh. heat up like that and then it got soft word Listen, uh, let's go back because you said you became a blood at 12. Yes. That's early as fuck. Yeah. I know. My daughter's 11. Watch out for her. No. <laughs> <laughs> How do you become blood at 12? Like, dude, what, that is fucking 12. Like, who introduced you to the blood lifestyle? Okay, so 
as anybody know, and Canarsie is full of Crips, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So. I'm the opposite. Like, I never want to do what everybody else is doing. So it's like, fuck out of here. I'm not turning crip. Like, that's what everybody's doing. Like, you understand? Everybody in my neighborhood. So I was always fighting. I was just always out there doing everything. So yeah. it was a guy who, you know, he he's still around. But he used to always come to me like, yo, come on, star, turn blood, turn blood. I used to be like, no, kick rocks. Like, you feel me? Like, and then eventually I got jumped two times. And then eventually I'm like, you know, fuck it. Let me turn this. Because at the end of the day, these crip motherfuckers ain't going to keep jumping me. Like, you understand? Why were they jumping you if you wasn't blood, though? Because I didn't want to turn Crip either And I used to always disrespect them And I used to fight they bitches You feel me? So it was just always a situation like that So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to turn the ops you need And we're going gonna to come for y'all asses mm. You know? So that's what I did And then on top of it You know, I, later on in life I found out I didn't care about life You know, I honestly really didn't care And it was scary Because I got that same mentality in jail in jail, I stopped giving a fuck. What do I didn't you mean? give a fuck about nothing. I didn't care about anything. Like, I didn't care. Wherever you want to take it, we're going to take it. I'm where, like, whatever, where, where with did whomever. you go to jail? What age? Just recently, I just went. Like, but, I've been back and forth to jail, okay. but I just did time. Just, like, just recently. I just came home. Technically, I would like to say the opposite of being in a gang is going to church. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, going to school. Yeah, not, you know what I mean? Not going to an opposite gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, so... <laughs> <laughs> what that laugh is crazy, bro. <laughs> that was like church and school. Do you know how many schools I went to? I went to five junior high schools and five high schools, three suspension schools. I've been to schools. You got kept getting kicked out? Yep. Yeah, I got kicked I got, out. I got kicked out, school. superintendent suspensions, expulsions. It's to the point where they said, you know what? Just stay home because we don't got another school to send you to. The, the suspension school kicked you out. Now. Were your like, parents frustrated? Like they, yeah. they, they sit here thinking that they're doing everything right? You know? Yeah, they was frustrated, but a lot of times like, when I did fight, a lot of times it was for friends. Like, you know, it wasn't really for you me all the time. A lot them. of times I'm very defensive. I'm very right. defensive with my friends. I feel like I own you. You understand? Like, your mind can't nobody fuck with you unless I fuck with you. Mm. Like, I'm the only person that can fuck with you. Can't nobody else do it. Period. I don't give a fuck how you feel. Right. Like, you know, I take over your life now. Mm-hmm. You ran by me. So it's like, you know, you just got signed to Shook Knight and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> you know, that's just how I feel when you become my friend. Yeah, yeah. So, um... A lot of it was because of that. A lot of it was because of my reputation. I would go to another school and I'd be like, listen, ma, I ain't fighting nobody. Nobody. I don't give a fuck. I ain't fighting nobody. I'm chilling. But then it's that person who feels like, oh, shit, that's that blood bitch star. Oh, yeah, I heard she tough. Uh -uh." And it's the girl who runs the school now feel like, nah, I got to make an example because it's my school. That bitch ain't going to be coming in here thinking, you know, it's stuff like that. Like, I will always have to fight because somebody else feels a way of my past. Like, all right. I fought this bitch or I did this in the past. Now I'm in a whole nother school. The school done heard about me. You know, people in the school done heard about me. Right. Now I got to sit here and fight again because another bitch fell away. And it's like, you know, I'm with whatever. So right. when lose a draw. Are you good with your hands? Are you a good boxer? What do you, how do you fight? I have, how do girls I, I fight? Have, I have more wins than losses. You do have more wins than losses? What is your technique when you're going into a fight? Are you going to rip out hair? No, I'm definitely not going to rip out no hair. Rip I probably punch hair. you in the throat. Punch you in the um, throat. You know, something mm-hmm. like that, depending on how big you are. Like, you know, I'll punch you in your stomach, bring you back down the size. You know, I'm, right. I fight with boys. So, you know, like, I'm not with the hair pulling because I don't want my hair pulled. And honestly, I be having more hair than them. So, <laughs> like... <laughs> Why would I want to touch that? Just don't touch this, sis. Like, right. you feel me? Don't touch this. So but, the first time you got jumped, you got jumped by guys? Yeah. Okay, and what? explain that. Walk us yeah. through that. Um, you in Canarsie. You just, I'm in Canarsie. Bonarsie. You feel me? I'm in Bonarsie. You heard? <laughs> the floss. You heard? I'm in the floss, and I'm just talking wild shit to these niggas, as always. And, like, I remember I used to talk shit to niggas, like, playing ball. I, ne- I couldn't play ball, but I used to be like, you're fucking trash. You can't even fucking play. And I used to be having on basketball shorts acting like I could play. You feel mm-hmm. me? And I really couldn't play. And they used to just beat me the fuck up, because it's like, this bitch is talking too much. Like, you know, we're young, too, at the time, 13, 14, and they used to just jump me and just beat me up and I used to be like alright I'm coming back and honestly I used to just catch you know them one by one sometimes hit them with the, you know the tuna in the sock and it would just be lit from and, there and then the second time you got jumped was it the same guys no it used to just be different guys but we all know each other like it's so funny because the same guys that jumped me I'm super cool with them like we grew up around each other like you know I'm cool with them it was just like I was just getting jumped all the time by them but we're, we're cool so when you became blood what was your first act of revenge on those Jump. people who jumped you. Oh, yeah. We jumped them back. Really? Yeah. Immediately. You knew exactly who it was. Yes. And I knew what blocks they lived on and everything. Like, I remember one time, one of the guys didn't want to come outside and I kidnapped his brother. Like, his brother was out, like, riding a little scooter. And I'm like, come here, little motherfucker. And I stood out there with the little nigga like, yeah, you're going to come for him, right? Little boy was like five. He came outside. Get mm-hmm. that ass whooped. Yeah, you and jumped me. How many of y'all jumped him? Um, I don't know. Probably like... Five, six, seven, eight, what, nine, ten. What's the appeal of the blood lifestyle? I'm not gonna lie, it seems cool. Like the language y'all you think use. So? Yeah, I'm talking about the way y'all talk. Like, I don't feel like it, it. Honestly, if 
I was 16 years old mm -hmm. or 15 years old and stuff like that, and I had my own mind, I would have never turned blood. Mm. I would have never turned but blood. But you did it as an act of survival, though. I did it. In a it, lot of ways. Yeah, but I did it because I didn't know no better. Like, you understand? You're 12 years old. Like, who really knows anything really about life That's at real. 12? You That's understand? Real. Like, how old are you now? I'm 28. When you had to get in, were they still making people cut uh, cut strangers' faces? That you know what's so funny? That when honestly I was, a kid. was never true. That's just a lot of things is rumors. Really? Yeah, a lot of stuff like that is rumors and a lot of stuff that's something that one person is doing or a group of five that's doing compared to uh, thousands. You understand? Like it's like how are you judging thousands because these five is doing that on Halloween or something like that? You know, like right. that was that never was the big yeah, thing. Yeah, that was never true. Just like they say, um, you have to fuck to get in and stuff like that. Well, they say that about about these, some female these bitches gangs. Is, I thought that was a fraternity. These, these bitches is... No, no, no. <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I thought they do that in fraternity. I thought, girl, no, I these bitches is dumb if you really think that you're going to sit there and be a whole gang member boss sucking these niggas dick and fucking them. You understand? They're supposed to be your bros. Like, it's not even supposed to be none of that. Like, mm -hmm. I never even did anything with anybody that's in the so same So that was my next like, question. What's the rule on hitting on the female members of the gang? There's is none it of that. shunned upon? You don't it's touch? none of that. You're not supposed... Not in the scene, no. What it's does that mean, not in the scene? Like, Anybody that's in mine, yeah, you're set. Yeah, my set. Yeah, you're not supposed to be flirting with another one. That's your bro. Like you understand, that's supposed to be your brother, your sister. What kind of shit we doing over so here? So there's with? a family dynamic that a lot of these people want yeah, to maintain. Lot, like me, I had a good family, but there's a lot of girls they and a lot of nothing, guys that have yeah. nothing. So you it's probably valuable to them. Yeah, to have um, that. for comfort, for money wise. Like you understand, we do like a little thing where we collect money every month, like little ten dollars. So you know, if you're hungry or your kids don't have no sneakers this month, or you know, just right. buying her a stroller for her baby, or you know, just simple things like that. Like um. Just the other day, one of these girls got into a fight with mm -hmm. her cousin and we bailed her out. Like, you understand, mm -hmm. out of jail because her family wasn't going to. Like, you know, so it's just little things like that it's a where sense a of lot community. of people. Do you, yeah. do you guys ever have like a mission? I'm just thinking of being like a female gang member. Are you guys ever like about to go on a mission where you're going to like jump somebody or something like that? But like, you're, you got your period. And is that ever like a, like a difficult no, thing? No, nigga, for that's you? blood for real, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> right? That's what it's about. Blood in, blood out. <laughs> 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 um, but like you're no like excuses. I cramp and I can't go. No excuses. Never. It's no excuses. Ay ay ay. You did say you was cutting people's faces though. No excuses. Was it that was just for fun? Yeah, why cut the face? Um, it's, you only because get one face. like um sometimes it was bigger than me and it's I'm not at that point in time when I was younger bitch I ain't taking no losses you know like now I don't mind taking a loss because I have so many wins but um <laughs> they was bigger than me and it's like bitch I don't know if you're gonna cut my face like so I'm gonna cut yours first what if, what have you learned about humanity from this like you, you seem to have have realized that like if you take it to an extreme that even someone bigger than you and stronger than you will recognize they don't want to go to that extreme as well. Is that is that is that the reason why you'll hit someone with a tuna can or cut their face? No, at that point in time I was I just wanted to win. That's it. Right. By any means. Yeah, like I just want to win. Right. And sometimes of when I was younger I feel like it's because I was angry. You understand? So it's right. like I was really, really angry. Like I'm not angry no more, but I for a long time, for years. Yeah. For years it took jail for me not to be angry. Did you start going to therapy or counseling in jail or something? No, but um, the judge is required by federal parole that I go to a psych every week now. You but, should. Um, That's good. Oh, God. I haven't spoken to her. Just I, I go to therapy just, every I just, week. I just go so there. Star, you need so it. I good. promise you. You got. You probably got trauma that you haven't dealt with from your mom. I and great like, stories. I'm Cutting here because I have no choice. <laughs> what about the what about the young man or woman that's walking around Brooklyn with a scar in their face a buck fifty? They should have never wanted to you. fight Star Brim. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That's that's where you fucked up at. That's you right. Okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. You right. That's your fuck up. Do, do, do these people forgive you now when you see them? I don't give a. F I don't even know who. Listen, it's so much people that I done did stuff to that I don't even remember half of the time. So I'm always like edgy and on point. Like I don't smoke. I never smoked. I never drank in my life. Like mm. you understand? Know so it's like I'm just always. Cause it's like I used to pee on pee in bottles and throw it on crip niggas. It's just so much stuff that I used to do that is like, listen, huh, that's you a might fetish. Be that person. Now let me tell you world, something. <laughs> now, you might have made one of those crip dudes day. This is, this is how I know. Walking around Canarsie like, man, I hope one day Star pisses all over me. <laughs> <laughs> this is how this is how Boom, I know. Lemon Gatorade. You got a lot of trauma and you got a lot of pain because you said you weren't even drinking or smoking. So to do that type of violent shit yeah, just never, because you had shit in you that you wanted to get out. Yep, yeah, right? I never, I never smoke. I never drink to this day wow. nothing. never popped a pill nothing really 
Yep, nothing. So you got jumped at twelve. You got jumped in. Oh no, Maybe you said try you had to... smoking. I think that could help. I, I really do. <laughs> no, no. I, 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 I don't know. I just find it. It looks dirty on girls because I find after a while, for certain females, they start looking smoked out. You know, mm. so it's well, like no, not crack. Who in here? No, I'm not talking about crack. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I'm talking about weed. That's what I'm saying. Come on. Come on. Let's look around the room. Let's. What woman in here is a smoker? Just look around. Those over there, like they take edibles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you got you had to fight at twelve to get jumped in. What happened? Um, yeah, I fought. I fought at twelve to get jumped in. I fought again later on because um different hoods. Like I just fought a lot. Like no, I want to know how you got you became blood because you had so it's not yeah, getting jumped in. Yeah, I had to fight. Who you had to fight? I had to fight three bitches. Damn, were they good fighters? Yeah, they fucked you up. No, you was twelve star. Yeah, but like I didn't get like I didn't have no black eyes, you know, and stuff right. like that. Like they did what they needed to do. Like they got me in there, but it's like if I don't have no black eyes and busted lips and I'm not bleeding, it's like you didn't jump me good. Like you understand? Like you didn't. I didn't get yeah. fucked up. So when is the fight over? Like how do they know? Okay, enough's enough. She's in there. We know. Oh, you're not, that's a secret. You're not supposed to. Yeah, it's a secret. Oh, oh. unless you want to turn blood. Nah, I'm, I'm cool. always down. Nah, I'm too old to be but a blood. It's okay. I'm not one of these it's guys never, that get in the it's industry. It's ageless. No. You sure? No, you can age the, out of that life. How do you I feel think. about all these rappers and singers and shit that Claim. turn blood at seventy? Yeah, I feel like they're low lives. Like, but it's so funny because I just be looking at them like, really? Like, I've just been doing this my whole life. You now, you now want to be blood? You now want to be in a gang? Like. What's going on with you? Like, what's up with you? Like, obviously, it have to be some trauma because I know why I turned with some trauma. So what what are you missing in your life that you're trying to avoid with this? Or are you trying to be funny? Because it's like, you're not even bothering nobody. I'm unbothered by it. I don't lose no sleep over it. You just look like the idiot because it's like, you're mad old. Yeah, yeah. Do they old. save money doing it? Maybe the, now they have protection. So instead of paying for protection every city they go to, they're just like, yo, they're I'm blind. You're still listen, paying. You get extorted. Listen, really? They're paying even one way or another. if you're part of the gang, listen, you still get? They're paying one way or another. If you look around, look at them niggas from before and look how they look now. They look different. What do you mean? Oh, so you mean like the stress and the... No. Look what? at the attire. Oh, Look yeah, at okay. the jewelry on them. Um, the you understand? It's it's some. Um, they're they're getting paid. We're talking about the blood dudes. I'm talking about yeah, any blood dudes or any crip dudes that wasn't around. Uh, you know, a uh, person around. that's famous right. and they're around famous people now. Oh, got you, got you, got you, got you. They're got getting you. paid one way or another. Like they're not they're not just sitting there for free. They're just protection. No, they're right. getting clout. They're getting their tires totally different now. They're not looking like a bum. They got Rolexes on. You understand? Like right. some way, some how, they're getting paid. How much does it cost to like rent some bloods? There's no, there's no, there's no such thing as that. <laughs> Why? What's up? You want to turn? No, you no, us? I don't want to turn. I'm just. You got not, beef? No beef for nothing. After. I'm just we'll saying, like, after. for protection. You know what I mean? Like, I'll protect you after. Like, you got me? I got you. Oh my! It's gonna be Lord. a price though. Say nothing what? Nothing is for free. It's a, it's a price. What if I give you like some fresh trout? No. <laughs> I mean tuna, tuna. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, you can't beat a bitch with trout. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you scoffed at trout. You're like, trout. I, mean, I need a more refined fish than trout. I albacore. Tuna, what are you talking about? You don't got the albacore? <laughs> I need to take you to Japan, get you some sushi, dude. The real tuna? You would lose your mind. You would lose your mind. I'm killing everybody. No, it's They're over. Me under the jail. <laughs> at what point did you forgive your mom? Um... I forgave my mom, I think, at, like, 14 when <laughs> she can't put her hands on me no more. Like, you ah, understand? You like, I back. stopped. Yeah, I stopped. Back. I stopped. You understand? So I felt like, you bugging, sis. Like, I'm in these streets doing a whole bunch of crazy shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm coming home still getting my ass whipped. Like, mm. I'm a whole motherfucking gang member. Like, you understand? So it's like, uh-uh, huh, boo-boo. You ain't, ain't going to be putting your hands on me no more. And, you know, it stopped. She still drinks, like, you know, but it's like, it's not abusive drink. It's not hugging and outrage. It's, you know, she still drinks, like, you know, once every week and stuff like that. But it's not to that point. And my little sister never had to deal with it. She's seen it happening to me. But anytime my mom would try to go to my, I would protect her. Like, you understand? I would get on her. Like, you understand? I would get the kicks to the back and stuff like that. Because it's like, you ain't touching moms. You understand? I always had that mentality from young. And I guess, like, I remember... The psychiatrist told me that's maybe why I'm always so protective of, your of friends. people, like yeah. friends, because I was protecting my sister at six years old, and you seven years broke old, the chain. jumping on her. You understand? Yeah. Making sure that you're not hitting her because only I can hit her. Does she have, do you think that she was uh, saved some emotional stress because of that? Like, does she not share your trauma? Um, I don't feel she shares my trauma, but 
I feel like in a way she does in a way because she drinks a lot. Your sister? My little sister drinks oh, a lot. She? she okay, so I'm 28. She's 25. Mm-hmm. She doesn't see she drinks a lot, but I see it because I'm mm. I'm watching you. And the thing is, my little sister is the complete opposite of me. She's not, you know, streetwise. She's not like that. But when she drinks, mm. she's me. Ah, like war, war me. Like she's war ready. Like so she, she suppresses it when she's sober. Yo, when, when she she's drinks, drunk, she's out. pushing people for no reason, going up to people just want. And it's like mm-hmm. I don't even do that. Like you wilding. Like I had to tell. Like yo, you bugging the fuck out. What's wrong with you? Like we gonna have to get into a whole brawl in here because your drunk ass don't know how to control yourself. Right. Like, like it gets. She gets. She turns into a beast. Did you ever yeah. get to the root of your mom's trauma? Like why she was drinking so much and um, beating on y'all? Okay, so listen. When I first when I came home, right. I sat there in halfway house and I told my mom, my mom was there and one of my sisters, um, the same sister from, she came up from North Carolina. So I looked at them and I said, listen, ma, let me tell you something. I forgive you. And she was like, huh? I was like, I forgive you. Like, I forgive you for everything. Like, I know that you went through stuff in your life. I know that you got touched and you never wanted to tell me. Like, you understand? I know that, you know, your mom died when you was, you know, by yourself. You didn't have no father. You don't have no family members. I know all this. Like, you understand? Don't worry about how I know, but I know my mother just started breaking down crying. Like, she just couldn't even, like, control Mm. herself. But I felt like she needed to hear that I'm not mad at you. Mm. Like, you understand? Like, I'm not mad at you at all. Like, I know that you might feel that you feel as a parent because, you know, Mm. all the stuff that is like, yeah, I'm a gang member, but but I did pretty good for myself. Like, you understand? Mm-hmm. Like, so you know, forgiveness like, worked for you. Charlamagne doesn't believe in forgiveness, but you, you think it worked. I'm working on it. I don't, I don't, uh, yeah. I, it's some people like, I'm, I don't forget it. You understand? Yeah. And I know where it brought me. I know like, in a way it's like, damn, if I wasn't a gang member, where would I be right now? That's, you know, I'd be thinking about stuff like that, but then it's like, I don't regret anything. Like I would do it all over again. Like even me down to scamming. If you right now, I will go and do that again. You know why? Right. Because I have so much stuff that I got out of that, that is still here, that it's not being taken away, that I would not have been able to get working a regular nine to five. Like I want this shit. Like You're you not feel Nigerian, me? are you? Like, no, I'm Guyanese. Okay. So, um, I feel like I had to tell her, like, you know, like, I I forgive you for everything. Like, I I found out that my mom had got touched when she was younger. I found out that my mom's mom started doing crack, you know. And I think my mom had an argument with her mom right before she died. Because my mom used to, yeah, 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 my grandmother, I never met her. My grandmother used to fuck with a guy. This was her husband. And at that, you know, at that time, he was doing crack. And he was using a needle. And I guess he used somebody's dirty needle. And he caught AIDS. She was had kidney failure. So, um... She caught HIV from it, and because she had kidney failure and her immune system wasn't yeah, good, yeah, she yeah. died right away. And mm-hmm. I think her, I think her and my mom had an argument right before that. So I don't think she was able able to, you know to tell her mom yeah. like I'm sorry or you know I forgive you or I didn't mean no you know those harsh yep. things. So that just been sitting on her forever. And Ugh. I used to I realized that too because anytime my mom used to beat my ass, she's like you look like your motherfucking grandmother, like you know, and then wow. they walk away, and it's like. Look like my grandmother. Don't you love your mother? The fuck? I'm, that's what I'm thinking when yeah, I'm yeah. young. Like, don't you love your mom? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You right. beat me because I look like my grandma? Like, kind of weird are you? Yeah. And then it's like, I rem- it's trauma. Like, you know, like, who am I to judge? I've never been touched. Yeah. I've never been touched. Like, you understand? Yeah. In the gang world, it, I, it's been attempted. Guys had tried to rape me at one point in time, but I have never been touched. You know, I have never been touched by a family member. Yeah, like I had guys get drunk, you know, and feel like they could overpower me and stuff like that. Gang members, that's no longer, they're no longer with in with me right. but at that time they was like you know like I put my life on the line for these niggas and these are the same niggas that tried to touch me but I could never understand my mom's view of things like you know like right. I can't I don't care what it is I could never understand How does the being touched. but you understand yeah. abuse though yeah. yeah I can understand abuse but yeah. I can't understand like like I don't even I don't know how deep it is I don't know if it was my mom's friends if they was always mm, around yeah. I, I don't I, I mean my grandmother's friends I don't know if it was my grandmother's friends that was always around in the house and you know I don't know if it was a family member of my mom's because you know back then a lot of family members would be touching I don't I don't know what it is I don't know what it is can you be vulnerable is that I, hard I'm, for you I'm very vulnerable like I'm, like with a guy someone that you like or you love are you capable of like not protecting them and being protected and like putting yourself in a situation where you can get hurt is that is um, that tricky for you I don't feel I could ever not feel like I gotta protect them like even though they be tough like they don't be you know soft guys but it's a simple fact that I don't know that's just I don't know I would never I don't I don't think so I think that I'm gonna always be on some what happened 
who y'all talking to? Like, you understand if a nigga was mm-hmm. to come and press my name, or, you know, I think I would be front in line with him. I don't feel like I'm going to be behind him, and I don't feel like I should be smacked down in front of him because you a man, nigga. Like, you feel right. me? Protect yourself. But I know I'm going to be right there, right right beside you. What's up? What we doing to him? Right. I don't think that got nothing to do with being blood, though. I just think that's your No, that's nature. just me. I just feel like yeah. that's just me. No, like, no, I wasn't take, saying it had to do with the gang. I was just saying, like, you've been this protective force for the people around you, right? Your little sister, mm-hmm. and you've had this, like, immense responsibility at a young age, something that most people don't have to do at a very young age, right? Which is like to protect your loved ones. And then you enter this gang where you also feel responsibility to protect these people around you, right? And eventually, you know, you're going to, and I'm sure you've had relationships where <clears throat> part of a relationship is like you're both protecting each other, right? And, yeah. And like allowing somebody the ability or also the honor is like to protect you. Like, Hey, you don't need to hold it down. Like I'm going to take care. If something's wrong, if you're pregnant, if you got a kid for nine months, you're not going to be able to do anything. Let me take care of you. Let me protect you. Is that something scary for you? <laughs> um, no, I don't think it's scary, but I don't, I don't think it's going to ever happen. Really? Like, I don't think, I don't really get into that much stuff for the person that I'm with to ever feel like, you know what, don't worry, I got this. Like, you understand? Like, I don't get into stuff that much. If I do get into stuff, it's because of me protecting somebody else. It's never really for me protecting No, I don't me. mean like a violent so, thing. I, yeah, you don't seem like an agitator. Yeah, like, it's never for me protecting me. It's always for me protecting somebody else or standing up for somebody else. Um, but I don't mind giving him, you know, the will when it comes to certain things. But certain things is like, <laughs> fall back, I got this. Like, you know, like, chill out. You don't even need to worry about it. What did you go to jail for? I went to jail for scamming this time. Okay. Credit cards? Yes. You said this time. How many times have you been to jail? I've been to jail a few times. This is the time that I did the most time. Um, All the other jo- times I went to jail was violent. Like, you know, it was for fighting and stuff like that. It was violent crimes. This is my first white collar crime. What was the longest sentence before this one? This was the longest. So before it was just like weekends, a month? Like, yeah, like a month, stuff like that. And what would, how, much did you, how much did you get in scamming? Allegedly, I got uh, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in scamming. A quarter million. Yeah. Allegedly, that Listen, means allegedly. More. I'm gonna tell you something though. I don't know if you that did that, but I'm just gonna more. give you a high five because <laughs> if you're gonna do it, this. no. But if you're gonna stop gonna, rewarding this, you if you're gonna take a penitentiary, you a I mean, if you're gonna take a penitentiary chance, a quarter million dollars. You think that's a lot? I mean, not now because I'm a millionaire, but a quarter million dollars. <laughs> say it with your chest. <laughs> say, say it with your chest. <laughs> But a quarter million dollars in the street, and that ain't hey, bad. Charlotte don't care about your little pennies. Your little right? two hundred fifty thousand. <laughs> hey, hey, sis, that was cute. Sis, he gave you a little high five on that. <laughs> okay, so basically, when I first <laughs> my commissary full. When I first got locked up, I didn't get locked up for gang shit. Like you know, I got. Lo- I mean, I didn't get locked up for scam. I got locked up for gang shit. I basically, they basically wanted me to tell. You know, and since I didn't, they like, all right, bitch. Since you're not gonna tell on who's the big dog, right. And where's the murders and where's the gun? We're going to hit you with this. So they hit me with $250,000 for um, scamming in Barney's, for taking $250,000 worth of stuff out of Barney's. And I didn't get a restitution or anything. So it was basically bullshit. I don't no, have no stipulations. I don't have to take so no So you stole out of no Barney's. Bullshit. Yeah, that was stupid. I thought you got cash. I didn't know you said yeah. That is cash. Oh, because you sell the clothes. But, <laughs> so wait a minute. Who was it that got stopped in Barney's? <laughs> Which black lady? Didn't know. Didn't somebody black get like stopped in Barney's where they were like asking her? They were following around Barney's. It wasn't a celebrity though. It was like a a, a kid. It was a kid. Yeah, yeah, it was a little kid. I forgot it. I, I, it was like a kid. No, nah, it wasn't her. I didn't bring him in. <laughs> He didn't, he didn't they were looking for, for you. He didn't, he, didn't, he didn't work for me. Like that last that time we didn't follow him. The lawyer must have been mine. trash, though. I feel like you couldn't get beat you beat a boost in charge. You said what? I said your lawyer couldn't beat like a boost in charge because that was a shoplifting, right? Nah, um, it was wire fraud, but I'd rather that than what they were trying to offer me for being a gang member. Oh, so they're trying to hit you with Rico. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, 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 like, okay. So I'll take that any day. And how many years was it? They, um, my category was 21 to 27 months. The judge gave me 15 months. I did 10 months, three months halfway house. And then they took a month from me because I did something in jail. So I had to be in a box for five months. What did you do in jail? Allegedly, they said I cut somebody. Oh. But you know, I don't do that no more. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Why would they think you cut somebody? I, I can't. Don't know. Yeah, the, out of everybody. Like out of everybody yes. is me. It's because yeah. I'm black. She said you it's did it? It's definitely racial. It's definitely because I'm black. I think it's racial. She said you did it? Yeah, but I think it was mistaken identity. You know, I look like a lot of people in yeah. jail. We, we all look alike. We all look alike. Yeah. You know, like, we're all Listen. black, so I think you should be one type else. of makeup. It's very easy to yeah, get yeah, people yeah, mixed yeah, yeah. up. Easy. It's that coffee makeup. A lot makeup. of bitches was wearing the bun. You know, I wear the bun a lot. So, you know, I was 
I was putting a lot of bitches with their buns, making them look cute, you know, a little cute with their buns and shit. And it was right. just like, you know what? Now, hypothetically, because we know you would never do this, if you had to cut somebody in jail, what would it be for? It would be for them trying to take this pussy. Oh, oh. That, that, that means somebody trying to rape you. Yes, I don't oh, see the problem. It would be for you trying to steal from me. Um, they were trying to take your pussy? Oh, yeah, I, did, I had that. Yeah, I had... A bitch try to take my pussy. How? What did you? Okay, so um, you got a pen? Do you got Listen, a pen? Listen, they give really want. Let me, get, let me get a pen. Taylor, give me a pen. Somebody hand me a pen. Wait, you're gonna write? A, what are you gonna I write? No, ask me for a I pen. I need a pen. I need to show you how pitch, how bitches rape you in jail. Wait, I don't have a pussy. What's going on? <laughs> 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 I have an asshole, so let me show you. I am afraid. You, you know what? To uh, my female. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, so, so yeah, you yeah. get a pen, right? Just or a describe it. Okay. Use your finger. Because you know, sometimes pen, they don't want to give us pens, so you know you have a toothbrush. Right? Alex, come here. Yeah, yeah. Humble, come here, humble. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got to be the guinea you, pig. You, get, yeah, you yeah, have yeah. a toothbrush, right? You right. get a pad, sanitary pads, right? You get right. the pads. You put the pads right maxi here. Maxi pads. Yes, the maxi pads. You okay. put the pads right here. You sit, you know, you roll it, make it look like a dick, you know? Okay. Then you get an ace bandage. You wrap that around it, so you want to make it more, more secure. Now you take your bra, right? Yeah. And you tie it around you. So you have you a strap this, on. And now you got the strap on. And then you just grab, bitches. Come here. You got that glove on it. You feel me? Lubricate it up. Vaseline, baby oil. Spit. What is the fucking point? <laughs> like no, no, but you got to realize there's a lot of girls who like shit like that. Like they love straps. What do they like? You know they're gay. They want to feel dick. They don't they feel just, nothing. Yes, you no, are feeling any. What are you when feeling? You gotta, it's a big. No, no, it, not it you. Big. The person that's doing it to you. Oh yeah, I don't know what they're feeling. It's probably an emotional thing. Yo, but if one of those girls is fucking and going, ugh, that's fake. There's no physical It's like feeling. getting a tattoo on a fake arm. It's like getting a tattoo on a fake arm and acting yeah. like it hurts. Ouch. Yes. It's like, like ouch. Oscar Pistorius stubbing his fake foot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. My PO, oh, my my PO is calling. Wait, answer. Go ahead. Oh. Guys, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> this is beyond me. <laughs> so, I mean, how often do they do visits? Um, since, Okay, so he's like active PO right now. I have okay. another PO that already did a visit. So he has to just expect my house and make sure that, you know, like everything is copacetic. Okay. So listen, let's get back to the rape, right? So listen, a woman is coming at you with a fake strap on. on. Yeah. You see that coming. You can defend that. Okay. So let me tell you how this happened to me. Let me tell you my yeah. scenario. I'm a dumb bitch. You feel me? I did okay. a dumb bitch move. Which was? Which was sleeping during the day. Oh. You don't fucking sleep during the day Never. in jail where your cell is open. You understand? Like right. you you wait till they fucking lock down the cells. But I was tired. I just can't, got out the box. You feel me? I was, you know, out there because it's like, oh, yeah, I was in the box for four months. I'm free again. Like, you know, so I'm all day jumping around, you know, yep. just finding out what's going on in the jail, scoping out the spots, you know, seeing where the cameras is at, you know, shit like that. So then I finally knock out. It's like two o'clock. Oh, your PO calling again. Oh, my God. So, okay, so basically back to you the day rape. Yeah, okay. you sleep with the so, day rape. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so she tried to day rape me and she didn't set the mood. And that's what got me upset out of everything. Because it's like, you really not going to even try to set the mood for this pussy? I'm just like a worthless pussy. You just going to rape this pussy and, and not what set the mood for this pussy. What do you want the mood set by? Let her you know, go. Listen, listen. Oh we have God. headphones in there where you know you could have sat here and played some music and let music be playing in the background. You know, like we could have played the music in the background. They could have sat here and had little flowers, you know, spread it about. I could have been up. Okay. You know, gotcha. up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. like you could have set the mood. You could have sat here. Listen, we put like construction paper. Dick. They could have put construction paper over the light to dim the lights in the room to make it look like a boom, boom room. They could have set the mood. So that she shit happens in jail. Yes, People set yes, the they, mood in jail? They set the mood in jail. They put up a curtain. They do shit like that. She didn't do none of that. She had no fucking respect for me. She did not give a fuck who Star Brim was. And that's the shit that got me upset before anything. So she like, might have got that pussy. You don't she... fucking know me? Like, yeah. no, she could have never had got the pussy because okay, I'm like okay. it. But, um, so it's like two o'clock, you know, in the afternoon, two or three o'clock in the afternoon. And I, I feel this, like I feel a lot of grabbing, you know, and shit like that. And then I'm looking out my sleep and I see the strap just chilling, just dangling. <laughs> and you know what I'm like? Oh, oh, oh shit. My worst nightmare to wake up from a nap. <laughs> <laughs> my worst nightmare. And it was so long. <laughs> It's so big. It was the biggest strap she, I ever seen. She in my used life. mad maxi pads. It was a man dick up. It was like horse dick. It was like a horse dick. Oh like my God. it was literally so big that it's like, where you thought that was even fitting, sis? Like right. not in this coochie. Yeah. So 
<laughs> she fucks me up now. I'm getting fucked up at first. Like she's beating you? you up. Yeah, she's beating my oh, she's ass. Really like, she's really trying to rape you. And, and you gotta realize. Let's say not. Let's not even say she. Let's say he, because this is a person who's transforming. In jail, they had those. Trans- yeah, transitioning. Yeah, <laughs> not transforming. Okay. It's not Optimus Prime. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Megatron. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I don't want to make fun Autobots, of them. Autobots, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to make fun of them because I don't want them coming for me. I do not know the correct terminology, yeah, but yeah. all I know is that she's. Transition, transitioning? Transitioning, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like she transitioned and everything that happens on the outside in jail, they have to continue on the inside. So she was getting hormone shots. He was getting hormone wow. shots wow. on the so outside. So it was a real guy? It was a girl turning into a guy. Didn't have no titties Oh, it was no a girl more. turning into a guy. The clip gotcha. was hung like it hangs now. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. like basically it was everything. So like they're shooting the testosterone. Yeah, all like and yeah, this is something yeah. that she's been getting. These are shots she's been locked up for fifteen years. These are shots that she's been getting for fifteen years. So you she's understand? Strong. Like he's she's strong. Yeah, he's strong. He mustache and everything like boy yeah. cut here. everything looks like a boy everything. super soldier like, yeah. everything looks like a boy and she does not he does not look like a girl whatsoever like you know and there's a few of those that's in there so he's fucking me up beating my ass beating my ass all the way he finally grabs me up out the um out the cell like out the um bed and slams me into the locker and I don't know but I must have found some superpower strength cause after that I was like listen sis you ain't get fucking raped by these jail niggas by these blood niggas you gonna get raped by by him Hell fucking no. Like, you feel me? So then I started fucking her up, fucking her up. And allegedly they said I cut her up, but I don't, I didn't do that. But I started like beating his ass all the way and they sent me back to the box again. Question. If you, just hypothetically, if you did cut him and him is trying to rape you. There's no, what? there's no snitching in jail. But still, wouldn't there's it be, no se- wouldn't it be self-defense? There's you wouldn't know it's self-defense yeah. if there's no know? telling. I, I didn't tell him my case. I'm going to tell that. This person just you understand because that's now a priya. Oh, gotcha. That's you. now a charge that that person is getting. Now yeah. my name is on paperwork. I'm good. <laughs> like you understand, it is yeah. what it is. I I won this one. I got to go back to the box. Fuck it. That's what I got to do. But I'm definitely not having my name on no paper. Like you know, yeah, for like, sitting so, here so, saying. Now that was she you fighting you with the strap on still on? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it was hitting my leg during the fight and shit. Like, like what the fuck? Was just swinging. And it was so big. You don't understand yeah. how big it was and strong. Like it did not crumble up. Like it's like why in this whole tussle and fight did it not fall? Because that does that distract you? Because if you was fighting a dude, you would go for that dick. No. It didn't but you can't grab that shit wouldn't do nothing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it didn't distract me. It just like I I remember like later on feeling when I'm in a box like this fucking hard ass dildo hitting my leg and shit during a fight. What kind of shit is this? Yeah. Like hard ass dick. Like you know. So so what happens after you get out the box and you see this person again? Okay, so I didn't see that person again. Okay. Um, because I came home out the box. I did I did my four months. I was out for three days and then I went back in like. Maybe I was out for two weeks. I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. remember how long I was out. I just know that they sent my ass right back in and I didn't even like get comfortable yet. Like they sent my ass right back in and I came home from the box. So when did Star Brim meet Cardi B? Barty B? I met Barty a couple of years ago by a person that was our um, friend at the time. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of people think that I'm at the strip club. A lot of people think that I'm a stripper. I never stripped in my life. Not that I have, a, you know, a problem against the strippers, but I always bartended in a strip club. Mm. So, and the reason I bartended is because... I'm fighting a case. Like, you understand? I have to come up with fast money to pay for this lawyer. Mm. So that, and I can't scam. So this is why I started bartending. I didn't bartend because I wanted to bartend. I don't even like people. Like, I don't fuck it. I don't drink. You understand? <laughs> like, yeah. I don't want to look you in your face. I don't want to shake my ass until I see the money being thrown. Like, you know, I go to people and be like, what's up? You babysitting this? Like, what you going to do with this money? Like, you know, because it's like, let's get this over with. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm yeah. here. Like, so... Um, that's how I met her. I met her a couple of years back by a mutual friend. It wasn't like in a strip club or anything like that. By the time I met her, she wasn't even stripping no more. Really? Yeah, she was out that life. Question, why are there bartenders in the strip club? Hi, who's to gonna, serve drinks. Who's going to serve you a drink? Yeah, but why not just have the strippers do it? Because they're working. Because they working. <laughs> Work a little more. <laughs> <laughs> like, because cause whenever I'm in a strip club, the waitresses... Look better? Are better looking than the that strippers. That, that's so changed listen, over the years. So listen, though. let me say... T- it has no, not no, changed I mean, in New I York. mean, it, it changed that where the bartenders look better than the strippers. No. When I was coming up, the strippers was the shit. Yeah. And then the bartenders So basically, became the I shit. feel like this. And this is why I say all the time. You see how everybody be like, oh, yeah, there's no racism in the club. It is. Every single time I have ever bartended, I'm the only black girl there. There's mm. no other black girls that's bartending with me. They're all strippers, basically. And I feel like it's, it's simple. At the end of the day, 
Spanish people attract Spanish guys, right? Spanish guys, when they come to a club, they're not going to sit here and ask for a discount on a bottle. A black guy is. Like, you understand? So business owners be wanting to attract. <laughs> for real. Like, I, I know I am. Like, wait, 300 for this? Like, what's up? I can't get a discount if I buy two? Like, you understand? Mm -hmm. a, a Spanish guy is either going to get it or not. You understand? They're either going to buy this or they're not. And then on top of it, these Spanish bitches got their body done because their cousins do it. You understand? In the basement. So... <laughs> it's easy. Uh, it's easy. Really? It's easy for them to get their body done. It's harder for a bitch like me to get to my body done. go see grandma. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, you know, they, get the they, know, they know everybody. They know in their country. You know how to get the discounts. Where to get the discounts from? Black girls, we gotta pay full price. So it's yeah. like, oh hell no, we ain't getting this shit. Except for a bitch like me, because I got this one. You know, whoever paid for my shit at the time. Thank you very much, whoever she was. Um, what you got? I was scamming. I got lipo. Oh, all right. What what is what what is, lipo means? You take it out. Did you stuff it back in anywhere? No, I just took it out. I wanted it. I, I told him to save it for me, but he didn't. What was you gonna do with it? I wanted to put it in my ass, but he said didn't. He said no. Oh, okay. So you got lipo. What does that mean? So you made yourself skinnier. What'd you do yeah, with the lipo? Yeah, like I got all this. I made it skinnier because when I first started bartending, um, I used to make like three, four thousand a night, and I used to just, listen. That's nothing. I used to make like three, four thousand a night, and I used to sit there and be like, yo. Like, my father was like, don't start bartending. You're going to want to get your body done. And I used to be like, nigga, are you crazy? Look at me. Like, I'm never going to... When I seen all them bitches in there with their body done, I'm like, oh, yeah. I need to get this snatched, that snatch. It really does fuck with your mental. You really yeah. start to see people and be like, nah, I do need to get this done. Huh. And it's crazy because once I got it done, I started making no less than 8000 a night. So why would anyone strip? I don't know. A lot of people A lot of people like different things. Like, you understand, maybe they're not... How much are the strippers making? Not more than me. Yeah, I do remember. They're making less money to show their pussy than you are to bring Coronas to tables. Yeah, I remember that time in New York when the bartenders took over, though. Like when it was the yeah, star like, tenders like, with Bernice yeah. and um, all of them. You got to realize this too. Crazy. A lot of girls, a lot of strippers don't want to have that type of clientele. You understand? In order for you to have people throw money on you, like as a bartender, my friends, people ain't just coming throwing money on me. These are my clientele. These are my friends. These are the relationships I built. You know, strippers just come. They could come get their money. They make their money and they could go their way. They don't have to sit here and text you late at night like, "What's up, boo?" Uh, they don't have to sit there and do shit like that. You understand? I had to be flirting with niggas and telling niggas like, yeah, pop out to my club. You understand? Do shit like that. I had right. to sit there and really do this for a week straight until the day that, you understand, to this day that I work. I have to sit there and really talk to you, communicate, flirt, convince you that you might get some pussy. You know, shit like that. Right. Where a bartender, a stripper, you just go in, shake your ass, get your cash and leave. I see. Okay, you don't really okay. have to do so much as clientele. You don't have clientele. Your, your clients is everybody that's in here. Bartenders is the one that's promoting. Like, if you really look at strippers' pages, you're not going to see them ever sitting here saying, catch me here, catch me here for a week. Come show me love here. These are bartenders. Bartenders is promoting parties yeah. every single day. They could put up a regular picture and the caption to be, oh, come see me at, I, I, I. you understand? Uh, like so, we're the ones bringing everybody in. I don't even know who the fly strippers are anymore. Um, there's a lot of popping strippers, but okay. um, there are a lot of them is down south because you got to realize New York is the only place where bartenders get money thrown at them. Every other place, like down south, strippers are the only ones getting money thrown at them. Bartenders don't get money thrown at them. That's something that's only in New York. So if you really want to make a good living as a stripper. Go down south because these motherfuckers is buying houses and cars and everything. Like, you understand? They really have, they file taxes. Right. Like, you have to, down south, you have to get a permit and you have to go to, like, the local police station and they have to give you a permit in order for you to strip at <laughs> clubs. In New York, you don't. You don't, have, you don't have no permit. You don't have to have none of that. But every other so place. So every stripper is licensed. Every stripper down south is licensed. And you have to take a test for that? What is no, it? you just you go you just gotta go to the local <laughs> precinct with a paper and they fill out the paper and they basically give you a license because now basically you could file taxes. You know, you could do other oh, they things. I didn't know that. Some money. Yeah. I had no idea. They could file taxes and everything. Like they buy houses with like it's strippers down there in the south that's making thirty, forty thousand a night. Like that can't Depends be Depends where you I'm at, though. I'm telling you. Like Houston, Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta Miami. Like certain Miami. parts of North Carolina. Like. Yeah, it depends where you at. It depends where you at. Like, you're not going to go to Jackson, Mississippi. And, you know, it's a $40,000 script right now. Yeah, like, like Vegas. You get in, <laughs> No disrespect to Jackson, but I'm just saying. All right, guys, hold up for a second. We got to pay some bills out here. Support for today's show comes from Boost Mobile. Switching to Boost Mobile gives you more. They're surprising people with more at every turn because Boost doesn't offer one great thing. It offers many great things like super reliable, super fast nationwide network and four lines for $100 a month with unlimited gigs for data, talk and text and four free LG Stylo, Stilo, 
whatever you call it, that's what it is, five phones for the whole family. It's more than you'd expect from a wireless service, and it all comes with no annual service contracts. Think about that. Switch to Boost Mobile and get super reliable, super fast, nationwide network so you can connect almost anywhere. Boost Mobile, the switch that gives you more offers and coverage not available everywhere. So make sure you go check. Free phone requires a port in. Additional terms and conditions may re- may apply. Visit BoostMobile.com or your nearest retailer for details. All right, let's get back to the show. So so how did you and Barty get so cool? Barty's under me, like when it comes to blood, like she's with me. Y'all jump Barty in? Barty fought, yeah. Hold on. How long <laughs> you known her? I knew her a while. A while? What's a while? A couple years, like five, six years. Oh, okay, so she... But Barty was yeah, this... young, Barty, yeah, I'm just forgetting how yeah, young Yeah, and Barty, Barty, Barty yeah. was... She was blood before she um even met me. yeah. She was she was blood. So she was jumped into your set before you even knew who she was. Basically. Yeah. So when she met you, she you like what I don't know what they call the women that are the the dons and the, what is, what do they call the women? Mm-hmm. You just you just the boss. I'm just the boss. Okay, okay. So why did y'all certain, be- certain stuff can't be said? So there's a name for what a female boss is yeah. in the bloods, but you're not gonna say what it is. Yeah. Gotcha. Why it's did just me. Why did y'all become it's so just cool? you? Huh? You don't like people, so why did y'all become so cool? Um, when okay, so when I first got around her, I had to see like what type of person she was, and Cardi is a like a genuine person, like Absolutely. you know. And I feel like because of because she's different, because she comes from a different lifestyle, a lot of people don't understand her, and they don't see her pain, like you know. Like I was there when she was crying, and you know when she was sitting here really trying to get out there. I was there when she didn't have nothing. I was there when everybody was trying to use her. I was there when she got used. You understand? Mm-hmm. I was there when she gave her on, didn't get credit for it. Like, I was just there for everything. So it's like, I just started fucking with her as a person. Like, you know, just the type of person she is. Like, she's a real genuine person. Remember, I get real protective when I feel like somebody's getting misused or somebody's trying to bully or pick because Cardi's not a punk, but she's not as aggressive as me. Mm-hmm. Like, you understand? So it's like, why are you fucking with her when she- I'm right here? You understand? Like, why go to her when you could just come to me? Right. And especially now when it comes to like, She's a whole millionaire. Why the fuck are you playing, you know, violating right. her and coming for her when it's 30 other bitches that we don't got nothing? Like, you feel me? We don't got no millions. Come for us. Like, because we have nothing to lose. So why are you going to a person that has something to lose? Like, I'll take that. You feel me? You beat me, then you can holler at her. What, what, how'd you feel about That's a dope her video and, game. What is that? It's a dope video game. You get to Star Brim, you got to go to Cardi. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> how'd, you, how'd you feel about that little scuffle between her and Nikki? Did that um, really bother okay, you? Okay, it really bothered me, of course, because I'm at, I'm in jail at the time. You understand? Ah. So I'm in jail, and I honestly feel like if I was there, it would not have happened. And I, I stand by what I say. It definitely wouldn't have happened that way. Before she would have had that knot, I would have had that knot. Mm. Period. Like, and <laughs> even if I see Ra Lee to this day, I'm gonna smash Ra Lee. Like, no, we don't want to. We don't want to encourage that. What do you mean by smash? We don't want to encourage that, though. What do you mean by smash? <laughs> yeah, what, what I mean is, you feel me? I'm with whatever with whoever. Like, yes. I'm with whatever with whoever. You feel me? I already. I feel a way against her because at the end of the day, you feel me? You taking on somebody else's beef, which is cool because I take on my friend's beef. But the friend is here now. You understand? I'm here now. But so since you taking on somebody else's beef, you taking on Nikki beef or whatever the situation is, let me take on Cardi beef. Let's have a one on one. Well, here's the thing though, Star. Like you, um, you do have a lot to lose because you have your freedom to lose, and I think that you have. I'll sit a up future. again for my friend. Huh? I'll sit up again for my friend. But why though? I done sat up for less. Well, what about like a charity boxing? <laughs> that could work free one too you know it really doesn't matter like, I think we could do a nice little charity boxing event do you know or a charity mud wrestle I'm not doing the mud wrestle okay I was just throwing it out there <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, just, I just feel like we squash the beef forever everything squash everybody's friends we don't have to no. get like real the, violent no. I, just, I just hate the rap we're, shit I hate we're, not gonna, we're not gonna ever be friends because we wasn't friends in the beginning like yeah. you understand so we're not gonna right. sit here and smash it and be like oh yeah we're friends now we was how do we friends. avoid people getting really hurt that's what I'm trying to say but we still let the aggression out they mind mm-hmm. their business that's how you not get really hurt I you, see you mind your business if you don't mind your business then you all for it like you understand right. Just like I'm all for it. Every, everything has repercussions. I'm not the biggest, toughest person in the world. You understand? Right. Everything has repercussions. If you want to not get hurt, you mind your business. You know, Once jo- you don't mind your business or the business that pays you, you're all for it. You know, if Joe Olstein tweeted that, it'll get a million retweets. Million. Mind your business and you won't get hurt. Mind your business, I, that's, that's you gospel. won't get hurt. 
I it's still think that there's something that we could do for charity, like a little backyard brawl. Well, you know, or something. the NYPD doesn't the let Bumble me Bumble do Bumblebee charity, two in a backyard so. brawl. That's a good one. <laughs> Let's talk about that. The, NY, the NYPD doesn't let me do charity. You was in your hood this oh weekend. You was in Brooklyn. Um, no, I was in Queens. Queens. I'm sorry. Yeah, you was I was in Queens. Queens. And you were doing the bathroom. And you were doing a charity event for the kids. No. What was you doing? I was chilling. Oh, I heard you was. We, that's what Angela Yee reported this morning that you was doing a charity event for the kids. Oh, for real? That's yeah. what she did. Oh no, Angela Yee lied. Yeah. No, she's lied. She yeah. lied. I, did, I wasn't doing anything for the kids. I was just out there chilling with the homies. You know, I broke cardio out and shit like that. And um, I had a charity event coming up on August twenty seventh. Got that you. I wanted to do a school fundraiser for the kids. I wanted to, you know, give back backpacks 300 backpacks and stuff like that and everything was set up the principal we met me and my manager met with the principal we met with the school we we checked everything out we you know we was everything was basically in process everything was set then all of a sudden um they call me and tell me oh i need to meet with your manager right away like this is urgent like you know the nypd contacted us and i'm like okay what did they contact y'all about and they basically blew it off like basically we can't you we can't have you like you understand like they said that it's not safe and it's too much and all this other extra stuff and it's like how is it not safe because the nypd does a lot when it comes to my parties they call the owners you know of the clubs and be like don't let her in there you know blah 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 try to blackmail me and the club still does because they know i'm bringing a bag mm -hmm. you know they're not stopped but this is just a regular civilian you know principal who doesn't really know much about anything so she just basically got shook and was like you know what we can't do this i'm sorry I, you know i know this was for the kids and i really want you there because i went to that school so it's like now it's just like, you know what, I'm over it. Like, I don't even want to find nowhere else. Um, my manager wanted me to just find somewhere else. And it's like, no, it's easier to do wrong. I'm saying it's harder for me to sit here and do good because I'm taking my own personal money and my own personal time while I have a million things going on. In reality, I only been home two months. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I'm doing a whole bunch of things that I'm trying to give back to the kids. And the only reason I want to do this is because when I grew up, I didn't, I didn't see it. It wasn't around. You understand? Like, I don't know if they was having back to school things but I never was part of them Yeah. so I really wanted to do this because right now I'm comfortable I'm able to spend some money and be comfortable still I'm not gonna go broke doing this you know so I feel like for, for them to do this it's like nah fuck it like you know it is what it is like I have no kids. Well, they They're want reacting. you to be discouraged. They want you to be discouraged because they want you to say man being good trying to be good is too hard let me go back to the street and do some bullshit yeah, they want you like, back in the same I don't place feel like I'm gonna go from. back to the streets, but it's like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bend over backwards to do good. I'm not gonna bend over backwards. You understand? I'm not gonna break my back to do good. But that, that was what I'm saying. They want you to be discouraged. They don't want you to give back to your community. They, they want those kids in those hoods to see the same bullshit that you saw growing up, so it keeps the cycle going. So in order to yeah. break the cycle, you gotta do stuff like that. I feel that. like they didn't have an issue with me giving back. They had an issue with me giving black. Ooh, I like that. That's just how I personally feel. Yeah, you should tweet that. Your PO would like that. Now, that's solid. You think he'll have a problem with it? No, nah, that's solid. They're okay. like, yeah, yo, NYPD don't got a problem with me giving back. They got a problem with me giving black. That's a solid. That's a solid I, I, I honestly feel that way. I don't feel like it was the giving back part. I feel like it was me giving blacks. Because if I feel like if I had this in a different type of area where it wasn't Brownsville, you understand yes. where Brownsville needs it, you understand? Then it would be a problem. Everybody's like, oh, you do it in Manhattan. Do it here. Why? I'm not from Manhattan. Yeah. I'm not from there. But I want to have it where I'm from. You understand? But, I want to have it yeah. in the area, in the community that I know needs it. Like, we even went, me and my manager even went to this other spot, which was, like, better in a way because it had ACs and stuff like that. But that whole area, that whole community, they do not need no type of anything. Like, in a, like, they don't need nothing. That area was kind of rich in a way. Like, you know, that area of Brooklyn had money. I wanted to do it where I know they need it. Yeah, but that's the point. They don't want you to provide that inspiration to those kids in those communities because they want them to see the same shit that you saw. And and it's crazy because I had like so much celebrities popping out. Like, you know, I just had a lot of things going on, but it's like, it is what it is. Like, I'm not going to sit here and, and fight y'all for something that I'm not even getting anything out of. I, I'm not getting nothing out of this. All I was doing this was for me and, you know, because I personally wanted to do it. I'm not getting nothing out of it. I'm not getting no money. I'm not getting no, no, I'm not getting shit. Yeah. Like, I also want you to know that the media don't know shit because we goddamn reported that you had the charity event and the shit got shut down. And I was saying maybe it got shut down because Cardi was there and it was a bunch of people, so it might have been a hazard. I don't. 
Uh uh-uh. uh. That's what we reported this morning. No, literally. <laughs> like <laughs> that's that's wrong. You didn't get no text about that. Nobody. Hit, that's probably what your PO was okay, talking about. Okay, so no, my father did hit me up and said that. Um, what was the station? Power one hundred five one. No, what is it? Ten ten wins. Ten ten wins said Cardi's best friend stripper. Cardi's stripper best friend. Ah uh-uh. So he caught me about that because he's mad that everybody keep thinking that I was a stripper. So that's all he <laughs> called me about. Like you know, my dad was really upset that y'all called me a stripper. That's all. And I don't, isn't that complimentary a bit? What being called something that you're not? No, it's, like, it's, it's like, not. It's not about. It's not about that. Is I'm a stripper. It's a simple fact that even if they would have been like, oh yeah, like say I was a nurse, and they'd be like, oh yeah, Cardi's best friend, the construction worker. It's a simple fact that that's not me. I understand that completely, but at least they're looking at you like she's hot enough to be one. No, you got a model There's face. Ugly strippers. That is true. Yeah, but that just I, got nice bodies. Right, but I feel like that would be labeled like you know Cardi's friends. Yeah, Cardi's friend. You know, but I'd like, be Cardi's friend. what I'm saying is, they're looking at a picture of you, right? They don't know even if you're a stripper or not. No, they're like, but she could be. I'd pay for they're it. They're Googling me because if you Google me, my name is Brooklyn, which is not my name. <laughs> and also, I'm yeah. a stripper friend. I'm her stripper friend. I'm a friend that's a, I'm from the strip club. I was a stripper. Like everything that's on Google about me oh, is Cardi's friend. Because you worked the in the strip club. I worked that's in the strip it. club as a bartender. Everything. Hot chick working and, in the strip club. I'd that make too. that mistake. My friend was a stripper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, then that. Yeah falls into the oh yeah she must have been one too you know that's mm. probably where they you know speculation that's probably where they met not realizing I didn't even know her when she was dancing mm. like, you know so what's the most you've been offered for a lap dance I've never been offered anything for nobody a lap ever dance. was like listen let me get please can you give me a lap dance forget the niggas, lap dance how much you been offered to me. fuck really niggas ain't playing with me they haven't never? even offered money niggas for sex ain't something like that to me never nah is that disrespectful to is, offer is, you is, money for is, that um, yeah, it's disrespectful to really? offer me money for that. Like, you the fuck? But it's like, like, but it's the simple fact that Cardi and a lot of people is really like, you know, internationally known and stuff like that. I'm really street known. Yeah. So niggas know not to play with me like that. Like, uh-huh. you feel me? I'm going to take it as straight disrespect and I'm not taking disrespect But what if it's nobody. a guy like me? What if I walk in there with a shirt that has flowers on it? I'm definitely going to be mad. You're but, not even my same race. Why the fuck is you offering me that? Word is born, that, white like, boy. To, the fuck to, is wrong with you? Fuck That's how open-minded money. I am. Well, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, but not look how progressive much. I am. Not that much. I'm not that open-minded <laughs> that, you feel me, you could just walk in here what because you see a black girl What first of all, there's Lots the of one black there. girls. You're the one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to spend my money exactly. on. Exactly. So no. I go look at all the black girls, all the, the Latinas, is, all the white girls. Is, I look at you and I'm like, oh my God. See, but now I have the mindset where it's yeah. like, I probably would have been like, nah, you good. But if you would have caught me back then, um, probably would have launched you, okay. boo-boo. Now, what if, I don't know what that means. No, it sounds what dangerous. what if you walked up to you with a knot of money, <laughs> Probably right? not a haircut. A knot of hundreds. <laughs> and, Andrew walked up to you with a knot of hundreds. You're like, yo, what's that? And he says, reparations. What do you do? <laughs> yo, I got a guy in here right now. That has this much money. He's wearing this much right now. This is how much we're going to okay. split. Don't play with me. What if, what if I walk what in, I what if I walk in like this and I go, listen, I understand the Don't dynamics of this strip club. I understand that you are a waitress and I understand that you serve the but drinks here. But you know, I'm here. behind the bar. I'm I not under, like a bar yeah, yeah. girl. Oh okay. yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah. I go, I go, I go, I understand that you are behind the bar. I understand what's going on here, mm-hmm. but I have never laid eyes on such a beautiful woman in my entire life. It's hard for me to do this while you're looking at your phone, but I have she never- She's lining you up just in let, case. She's, right? She's, she's <laughs> texting somebody right now what you're wearing. It's just in I've case. I've never laid eyes on such a beautiful woman in my entire life. And I understand that you don't normally dance, but what would it take to get a dance from you? What if I prefaced it like that? Anything. I wouldn't even be, first of all, that conversation is too long. Like, you see how you just lost me? Yeah. I'd have been lost there too in a strip club full of music. Like, I'd have been lost. Like, first of all, you're saying too much. Like, what yeah. do you want? Uh, do you want a Henny with Coke? Do you want some ice? What the fuck do you want? Probably would wouldn't order like, the Henny yeah, with Coke. You, you, yeah, because yeah, yeah. you would have had to. Break but what if down. I was like charm? What if I was like cute about it also? It's and no, then you're like, I, I you're like, oh, he's so cute. cute. Like, I see I'm money so, in the club. Like, yeah. you feel me? Like, I don't see cute. I don't give a fuck if you're the ugliest motherfucker in there. How is your pockets looking? Right. Like, you know, like I'm not looking for stuff like that. This ain't find the, your match. Like, I'm right. in the club looking for the bread. Like, what's up? Like, where's the money at? Like, yeah. you know. So you would have lost me even with all that, that conversation because yeah. it's so long. Like, you know, it's so noisy, yeah. and that conversation was super long that you just lost me just right. now. What if I came up and I just put a tuna can on the table? Just slightly, just put it right there. I didn't say anything. I'd have been looking down to see if I have a sock. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's the match.com she'd have been looking for. The yeah, sock and the tuna I, the socks <laughs> Like, you know, like, why the fuck is he just giving me this tuna? Where's the, that's disrespectful. Where's the sock? Where's the sock? <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 what, what if am I right, supposed to do? Just the lunge What if right you? when you say that, I put a sock right next to the tuna? Oh, my pussy Ooh. probably would have been wet. <laughs> you would have got the nipples hard because that means you investigated me, motherfucker. That means you are into me. See, I'm not sure. Sure. I'm See? You cracked the code. You cracked the code. I want a motherfucker who's in me. Charlotte, you didn't believe in me. <laughs> but then I came through. You came through. So here came you go. Through. Sock, sun, kiss, and then what do I do? I just walk away from the bar. Oh, no, no, no. I got to come after you. I got to come after you, baby. You researched me. Like, what have you heard? Yeah, you bugging. What have you heard? What we got to do this way? <laughs> Who's the victim? Who's the fucking victim? We ride together. Who fuck with you? You know you, you know you just told millions and millions of dudes how to get at you, right? Yo, You're going to get mad socks and tuna cans now sure, whenever see, you out in the street. <clears throat> Can y'all hear me? <clears throat> Make sure it's albacore. <laughs> You do have a very beautiful face, I need, I need face, the though. fresh one. You have a very beautiful, like, Thank you're, like you. you're like Stunning. a model. Thank Stunning. You. Thank you. When did you come into your own and realize that, though? Um, I think probably after being hurt so much. Like, you know, by guys, it's like, are you dumb? I'm bad. Like, you know, like, I don't yeah. know, like, after a while... I started realizing my growth, but I still be having moments as a female. You know, yeah. everybody, every female insecure has insecure moments. Yeah, I still have my insecure yeah. moments where it's like, oh my god, like you know how like this bun. I always wear a bun, and I always get like criticized for it. Like I always get people cursing me out on Instagram, like oh change up your hair, uh, and then I have to think about it, like bitch, I got hair. Like, you mm. know, like, at least I got hair to put in a bun. Because mm. some people don't have hair to put in a bun. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's times where I just be like, damn, maybe I should change up my hairstyle. Or maybe I should do this. And maybe I should do that. But then it's like, nah, fuck that. I don't give a fuck how they feeling. Because at the end of the day, somebody gonna love it. Right. Like, you know, so I love it. So, like, you feel me? I mm. like it. As long as I like it, then that's all that matters. Mm. But um, it took me a long time to find myself. Like, I talk a lot about it on, like, the podcast that I have coming up, Keeping It Butte. Keeping It Butte. Yes, it just came how out today. How do you today. spell Butte? B-U-T-E. Ooh, I thought it was like be like beautiful, but B E A U T. No, we don't say C's over here. And if you're gonna be down, you have to realize that. No, no. So how do you? I how like do you, how I'm down. How now. do you shit? On <laughs> that fucking so, tuna work. So, 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 I'm so, you now. so listen, you down south, right? You run into a racist white man. Okay. Right. He calls you a nigga. Like fuck you. you Got to say cracker, right? Mm, I don't think I would go back and forth with him. Oh, you wouldn't even get to the racial slur. No, like uh, I'm okay. Here's something. a good example. Yeah, here's a good think example. I would argue. Wait a about minute. That. This is a big deal, right? What are you gonna say? Somebody has like a heart attack or something on the street, right? And you're you need you know people to come, so you're like, ball the ambulance, and they're like, what? Huh? No, it don't work like that. Wait, what? <laughs> no, it's gotta be it's a, if it's a word that starts with C. Yeah, call the ambulance, That's but you're like ball, ball the ambulance. Oh, ball, okay, I didn't and hear that like, part. What are you fucking talking? Yeah, ball yeah, the yeah, ambulance. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think I would be caring to any. Okay, let me not say that. I don't. I don't think I would be telling anybody call the ambulance. You just gonna walk I'm past gonna, somebody in the street? Are you really a New Yorker? You mind wow. your business? <laughs> I'm mind, I'm mind the business mind that pays me. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm minding my fucking business. You saying right. business listen, though? Listen, listen. Let me tell you something. Oh, you can say business. Yeah. See, I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, you can say business. <laughs> can you say? Can you say coochie? No, no, can you like? Can you be no, like? No, I'd be like, yeah. like Bucci. So eat nah, this nah, boochie. Nah, eat this boochie. <laughs> that sounds like a like a man's like pussy, booty. like butt pussy. Yeah. So butt, right? Isn't that what the the trans trans <laughs> chicks would no, say? Come get some of this boochie. You can say whatever you want to say. Honestly, this is like like back in the day where yeah. you know you could only say certain terms. You can say whatever the fuck you want. Like just to be funny, we say little stuff like bigorette, you know, big and back being bull, stuff like that. But it's not it's not set in stone. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say. If you have to but say listen, a C, you can do it. It's a girl named Ciara from Love and Hip Hop, right? right. And she has like the yeah. shirt. Yeah, B no, it starts with an S, so I can oh, say it. Okay. Ah. Correct yourself. Don't correct me. You're right. I'm sorry. Ooh. I'm sorry, son. You're absolutely right. Ooh. Don't do that again. That I'm made sorry. my nipples one hard. Time, one time and one time. <laughs> it's done. I warned you. You know, I warned you when we came in. I didn't, <laughs> get, a chance, I didn't get a chance to warn him. It'll never I, happen I again. You. I warned you. I gotta warn you. Don't, It'll right. never happen don't again. Don't ever correct me. Yes, okay. I'm sorry. Ever again. I apologize. You don't know what lies in here. That is very true. I'm not trying to go back to jail this soon. Now, I will say you did say correct. Never mind. Tuna. <laughs> Settle it down. Settle it down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so Sierra. Oh, God. I'm not playing with you no, no more. No, you said, I said Sierra. I'm so dead ass. I'm sorry. Okay. I apologize. All right. Okay, go. Guys, I'm so, I, honestly. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it beaut, but you're right. going to turn me into somebody else. Okay. I don't think you want Star Fenton. No, I don't want that. No, I was really all. spared right there in that moment. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was, I was absolutely spared. Okay, so Sierra, right? Yeah. She has a shirt that says, um, mind the business that pays you. And I always sit there and just think about stuff like that. So I don't give a fuck what you're doing in the street. I'm, I'm, unless it's a fight, I might want to record it. But other than that, I don't give a fuck. You could have a heart attack. For all I know, you could just sit here and try to spit in my face while I'm trying to help you. Yeah, I don't know. You're right. You right. understand? People do wicked, crazy shit. So it's like, I really will walk away and not give a fuck. Does That's that, not my problem. It's too many, it's million civilians. Why the fuck do I got to be the good one? Does that shit still excite you? Like, if you see a fight in the street, like, you've been in so much fights and altercations. Like, yeah, you, not, it's not excitement, but let's see who wins. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what's going on here. Like, you know, like, it, 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 but it has to be, like, funny in a way. Like, you know, not, like, I just, I'd I be seeing, like, little guy scuffles and it's like, what are you going on? Like, you ain't gonna knock him out yet or something? Like, you know, yeah. like, stuff like that. Right. Like, little altercations where, you know, the little cars and they get out their cars and they're just, ah, no, I'm keeping it pushing. But a lot of times I really do mind the business that pays me because little fights could turn into shootouts and stuff like that. And Whoa. I'm tired of getting shot at. Like, you know, like, I'm over that life of getting shot at. I don't even want to run no more. So, now I'm gonna get hit with a bullet because I don't want to run. Like, you know, so hmm. I just mind my business. Okay, we're going to take a break for a second, pay some bills right here. White Castle is America's first fast food hamburger chain that, as well as the slider experts. And now you can get that same one-of-a-kind taste when you pick up White Castle sliders from the grocery store. That's right. They're coming to your grocer. You like that good White Castle feel? You go and get it. Made with 100% beef patties on a bed of steam grilled onions. These have that one-of-a-kind taste that White Castle has been serving in their restaurants for years. And whether you're a vegetarian or a meat eater, White Castle sliders come in a whole bunch of tasty varieties for just about anyone to enjoy. Feeling a little cheesy? Huh? 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 Just try their cheese sliders. Looking to add a little spice to your life? Just have a taste of their jalapeno cheese sliders. One bite and you'll understand what all the crave is about. I'm telling you, White Castle does not play around. There's a reason movies are made about it. You don't make movies about a horrible burger chain. You make movies about the best one from the castle or the grocery store. All right? You can satisfy your crave anytime with White Castle. Go to whitecastle.com slash idiots to get $1 off the purchase of any four or six pack of White Castle sliders. That's right. We giving you discounts on them burgers. Go get them. They are delicious. What made you want to start a podcast? I heard I heard you uh, I heard you with Tax Stone. I heard um, the tax season. I actually listened to it last night. Matter of let fact. me tell you something. Mm. Tax is like the most brilliant person I know. He is. Like, listen, no, you don't understand. Like, and I, I honestly don't even want to say it here because I honestly want to say it to him. Nobody knows how appreciative I am of tax. Like, I don't have people do anything for me. Like, you understand? I don't have nobody who just goes out their way and do stuff for me. Like, so for him to, you know, push me in the direction of star, I know you could do this. I feel you could do this. I knew you for a long time. Do this. And, you know, hook me up with my manager. Hook me up with this. Hook me up with that. It's like, why? You understand? You're sitting yeah, in yeah, jail. Yeah. Facing a life sentence. Yeah, you're right. You I text would tell me two everybody, weeks ago. suck my dick. Like, right, you understand? Right. That's how I would be. And it's like, I asked him the other day, like, how the fuck could you even still have it? Because there's days when I was down in jail. So how can he's like, because you know, if I don't smile, I'm going to cry. Mm. And I felt that because it's mad times that, you know, if I don't smile, thinking about my life, I will cry. But it's like, he's a, went above and beyond for me. And I never even knew him in the street like that. Really? Where'd y'all no. meet? No. Y'all met like while he was... Okay, so listen, while he was in jail... Okay, we never we never met. Okay. Me and him has never met face to face. But when he was in jail and I was in M um, MCC, I had mm -hmm. one of the security, like one of the CEOs, give him a picture of me when he was in... A, I think he was in a box at the time. I'm like, oh, tax stone here, right? I know that he knows some of the same people I know. You feel me? We both in the street, so we know of each other. I'm like, send him this picture. Tell him, get right. Like, you feel me? Like, get right. Like, jerk off to it. Like, you feel me? Touch that dick. You feel me? I, got, I know my pictures looking nice. You feel me? So I sent like a little three, four pictures and told him, like, do you... Do your thing. Like, you know, here. Here's something good to look at. You feel me? And um, That's honorable. And they sent it up to him, and I got shipped to another jail. And um, 
we just got in touch when I came home. You know, like we got in touch and stuff like that. But I have never personally met him in real life. So for him to go above and beyond the way he does for me is like, because I asked him, like, why are you doing this? Like, you know, like what? Like, I'm always used to somebody having a reason. Like, mm. you know, what is your agenda? Like, what do you want? Like, mm. and he's like, nah, like, I just see something in you. And, you know, when I see something in somebody, I'm just a genuine dude. And it's like, when I say he calls me every day, he sit here and send me inspirational stuff. And it's like, damn, this nigga really believes in me. Like, yeah, he hit me two weeks like, ago. He was like, like that shit is, yeah. that shit be touching my heart because I don't be like, besides my family members, which you're supposed to care for me. You're my dad. You know, mm -hmm. like you're supposed to do this. I don't be having people that just gives a fuck about me. Mm-hmm. When, and don't want anything from you. Yes. Other than to see you succeed. I don't even have people who want stuff from me and gives a fuck about me. The impressive thing. I just thing, have people who want stuff from me. Like, yeah. they don't even give a fuck. They still don't give a fuck. They don't even pretending to give a fuck. Yeah. I think the impressive thing about uh, someone in Texas' situation is, like, most people realize that, you know, helping others makes them feel good or helps themselves once they have an abundance of, you know, money or power. It's rare that people who have seemingly nothing realized that and he's at a point right now where everything's been taken like from him like he's facing everything facing a life sentence exactly yeah. and it's very easy in that moment to like internalize and just take from people hey what are you doing for me Listen, hey help me, me get, put someone on the books There's if that. I had a life sentence mm -hmm. The way I will be violating officers, you know, violate. I would just not care no more. I don't, I don't care. Lose, yeah. I don't care. Nothing. Everything's a go. I'm yeah. beating you up. I'm stealing from you. I'm taking this. What you going to do? I'm doing everything. Because at but the end maybe, of the day, I have nothing else to live but maybe for. Maybe you'd, you'd realize midway through that, that those things didn't make you any happier. They actually made you more sad. And, and that helping other people that you believed in, like tax is doing for you, actually gives you a little bit of joy even in the know. darkest I think, time I think, of your life. I don't even think I would feel like that. I think tax mind is way beyond minds. Like, you understand? I think he's way smarter than me. He went through way more probably things than me. Maybe. To, you know, because I wouldn't, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I live, I see him say, oh, maybe halfway through, I would have felt, no, it would have made me feel good. That's how I personally feel. Mm -hmm. I feel like it would have made me feel good. So for him to be put in that position and knowing already like that wouldn't make me feel no way. You understand that shit wouldn't make me mm -hmm. feel happier. That's a strong ass mind. You mm -hmm. know, like regardless of whatever it is, it's a million people out here that he knows that he could have helped. Mm -hmm. He did not know me like that. Like you understand, he's never seen me in person. But he saw something in you. You know what I'm saying? Like I see something in you. Like you remind me of text on he a lot. Sees, mm -hmm. He sees, him and my manager see so much in me that it scares me because I don't see it. Like you, you understand? Like, She's right there, oh, Alex. Alex, okay. Right. Salute to Alex. Mm -hmm. All right. Can can you look at what happened to Tax and then make sure that you avoid? Listen some to what of I those? said. I yep. said she reminds me of Tax, which uh, is a great thing, but it's also scary as fuck. Right. You think right. so? I think Tax intellect is like so beyond. Mine. That's like, not I what. What makes you think to. you're not? What makes you think you don't have intellect? You have a different experience, and you have um, a different yeah. language to express your experiences. But that don't make you any less intellectual. In a way, I feel like anything can happen to anybody, but I do feel, I do look at what happened in the position that, you know, he was put in, and I, I definitely know, like, I don't want to be put in that position, you know, and stuff like that. So you definitely have to watch liars out here and people who will just lie for no reason. And, you Very know, true. Who will just, who just come up off you and what stuff like that. What is the saying that you use a lot? It's... Uh Smart people learn from their Smart own. Smart people learn from their own mistakes. Wise people learn from the mistakes of others. But that's why you can't let people trick you off the street. You know what I'm saying? Even in the position that you're in now, because you are Cardi's friend and you do have a bright future. And Cardi is going to have a lot of issues with people. But all of y'all have to move differently because none of y'all are in the street no more. Yeah, like, um, Otherwise I was it's too to easy the to access. Day, Don't be was, too easy to access. I was so sad for her. Yeah. Like, I'd be so sad for her because Cardi hasn't reached my mind level yet of not giving a fuck. And it scares me because I remember when I used to pay people like private detectives to find out where this bitch on Instagram lives. So, cause I'm gonna go to her house cause she popping <laughs> shit. You feel me? And she think just cause she on Instagram, I ain't gonna find you, ho. But guess what? I'm gonna pay somebody so that I can find you. I was at that level. Like I was at the level where anything somebody said about me affected me because it's like, what did I do to you? I didn't do nothing. We just had the same 24 hours. You understand? I don't have nothing right. more than you. Right. Nothing. I done been broke a million times. I done came back. I done slept out my car you f for two months and nobody knew about it. Like, you understand? So it's like, I've been through mad shit. I done almost got raped. I done, you know, got had a DV situation. Like, you know, I, I've been through a lot of stuff that a lot of people who looking at me don't know mm. that I used to really care about people's feelings. Like, care. You know how you sit down and you be like, man, I don't give a fuck. I used to say that and I used to give a fuck. Yeah, like I gave yeah. I gave a fuck. Like I really did care how people, because if it could make me upset, I care. If it could make me get out of my character where I want to find where you at, smack your daughter, you feel me? Beat your mother up, spit on grandma. Like I'm upset. So 
Conan I like Jim. how you ran on that family tree just now. Like you, 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 <laughs> yeah, you know, you're I that like effortless tree. Yeah, mama, <laughs> daughter first, then mama and your grandma. Yeah, Youngest getting, to oldest. I'm getting everybody. Like, you know, <laughs> 8 through 80, old, ugly and crazy. Like, Tight so, family unit. <laughs> so going to jail is what changed me a lot and not because I didn't have a phone at that too. I didn't have a phone. Mm-hmm. And when my family or friends used to come and tell me about stuff on the outside that people were saying to me, I used to be like, listen, 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 bitch. Let me tell you something. Can I escape? Are you going to make me escape? Because there's nothing I could do about the outside right now. Mm-hmm. I cannot. There's a lot of people who could jail both ways. I can't jail like that. I can't jail worrying about the outside. I can only jail worrying about what's going on in here because this is the right. only thing I can control. I can't control out there. I can't stop a person from writing this. I can't talk back. I can't, you know, defend myself. So I stopped caring about Instagram and what people said. Like, I didn't care. Like, it didn't like it really doesn't affect me. And I could see that it still affects her. And I can't tell her nothing because I was that. Mm-hmm. I was that same girl. I was that. It took me going to jail, and it's like I told her, like, "Yo, you ain't gonna never feel it. You know why? Because you ain't gonna never not have your phone." Yeah, I'm gonna give her. I'm gonna give Cardi a book called Digital Minimalism because I, I see how it affects and you know, her she, too. She'll read, but yeah. when is she gonna have the time to? Like, you understand? When is she really gonna have the time to sit down and read a book? Like, she does a million things in a day. Like, even when I call her and she doesn't pick up, I curse her the fuck out, <laughs> bitch. I know you're on your phone looking at Instagram. Answer the phone. Answer the phone. Because right. her phone is in her hand all day looking at something on Instagram. You understand? Like, she's just, it affects her. It really, really affects her. It affects her to the point where I can see, like, she'll get upset. She'll start crying. You understand? She, she, it look like she don't want to eat. Like, it'll really, really affect her. And it's like, damn, that it's was gotta me. Be, and it's got to be tough for her, too, because that's how she came up. Like, we, I, I started fucking with Cardi because of the gram. So, mm-hmm. like, that was her thing. So, now she's just mega superstar. So, that shit got to be multiplied times a million. Yeah, like, she really, like, and it really, you know when a person really gets upset? Like, she really, it really affects her. Like, it's not something that, oh, she's just doing this for clout. It really affects her. It really gets her mad when she's minding her business. So, you know, people is just basically hating on her, discouraging her, stuff like that. It really gets to her. And it's like, it really used to get to me, too. So, yeah. how, what would I look like sitting here telling her, yo, don't let that shit get to you when it took me going to jail not to let it get to me it didn't take me being outside I didn't have the strength outside for me not letting it get to me it took me going to jail and not having a fucking choice Mm -hmm. for me to grow up and and just be like you know what I don't give a fuck so I know know it's not gonna get different for her she's always gonna have a phone have you had to fuck somebody up for Cardi ever yeah and I will always Mm -hmm. continue to Warning. But at a certain point in time, you it, it's bad for business to answer every single person that says something. No, okay, so back in the day, sure back in the day, the right I used to listen, back in the day, I used to always like go underneath her comments, people that's getting her mad, defend her, curse them out, blah, blah, blah. I used to do all that. Like, you understand? Know I used to pop out and stuff like that. Now it's just to the point where I don't, I let people talk because it doesn't affect Smart. me. You understand? Know I let Smart. people talk. But if it ever comes to a situation where I'm around her or if I'm around a certain person and they're disrespecting her, even if her not being there, you're not going to disrespect my friend. Like, you feel me, whether mm-hmm. she's here or not here. So it'll get to blows. But as far as the social media thing, I don't do the social media thing no more because Smart. I'm over it now. You understand? But then I was arguing with any and everybody. I was taking on whoever. Yeah, but you I don't can't give, give people too much power like yeah, that. You're like giving was, them power. And that's how I feel now. But at that point in time, I don't give a fuck about giving you a little Instagram power. Like, you feel me? See yeah. me. Like, come pop out. I want to put my hands on you. Like, right. you understand? Because my friend is sad. My okay. friend is calling me and she's sad. Have you ever caught one of those Instagram? trolls in real life no I, I always wonder how fun Ooh, is that that's gotta be some type I of want joy the, listen there's so many that I wanna catch in real life but I have not catched them in real life and on top of that caught them in real life and on top of that I really be not paying attention to how certain people look so it was even a situation um I got into a situation with uh, Fetty Wops, one of his like old bitches or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. And she used to be talking shit about me on the gram, right? It had to take my friend to be like, oh, you know that's her? For me to be like, oh, that is her. Grab her and drag her. You understand? I don't even realize that that's you, bitch. As soon as you you was reminded. You was just living your best life, not realizing like, oh, yeah, she doesn't know it's me. Oh, no, bitch. Somebody told me it's you. Okay? So it's like I get a lot of that. Like I have to ask. A lot of times I have to ask my manager, who's that again? That is that person, right? And hopefully okay. Alex is lying to you if yeah. she knows the people you have beef with. Listen, just the other day, ask Alice. We, I said Alice, Alex. A situation approaches me while I'm going to meet her for a business meeting. This is business now. You understand? I'm going to meet her for a business meeting. And her and Dustin, I have a business meeting. Salute to Dustin. And he, she comes up to me. A girl comes up to me that I know from like a while ago. You know, like from high school and stuff like that. And she comes to me like, yo, what's up? Is a problem? You see, the old star would have been like... Boop, 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 boop. Now it was a problem. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, it's not a problem because it really isn't. It really isn't a problem. But I told her, it's not a problem, but we could take it wherever you want to take it. You know, and I automatically grabbed, like, as soon as she came, I gave my phones to Alex. Like, here, hold this. 
So she's thinking this is a, a friend of somebody or probably somebody that want to take a picture with me. So when she realized what it really is, mm-hmm. now she gets closer. You feel me? So now I'm like, oh, okay, Alex is down the road. All right. You feel me? I, got, I didn't know my manager is ready to get it shaking too, but okay. So then I'm looking at the girl and I'm like, <laughs> you feel me? Okay. <laughs> she can't get 10% if you did. <laughs> right? Very true. <laughs> Not yet anyway. Let's get her out first. Where was the time? Right. <laughs> get a catalog. Then we can't. <laughs> so then I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm telling, I'm, not, I'm telling the girl like, it's no issue, but you know, it's, it's wherever you want to take it. Like, you feel right. me? And she's like, oh, all right. I just thought it. I'm like, well, it's no issue, but wherever you want it to go, it could go. And it's like just simple things like that where I'm minding my business. I'm trying yeah. to better myself. I just came home from jail. I'm going to a business business meeting and somebody from the past from high school which I've been out of high school for probably seven eight years or something like you mm-hmm. know comes and approaches a situation that probably was from seven eight years ago that I don't even remember what the real situation is and it's like it could have just went the total opposite because if it was me before jail I'd just been like fuck it like it is yeah. you pressing me like you feel me for you to even come to me and ask me is there a problem obviously you want one no, you're gonna leave this young lady alone. You're not gonna. Of course, like okay. I don't, like I don't. I really, if I really didn't have an issue. I would have told her, like, if it was an issue, I'd have been like, yeah, there's an issue. What's up? You understand? I told her, like, no, there's no issue. Mm. There's no problem. Mm. But if you, you know, if you want one, if you want to take it there, cool. But I really had no problems because that girl was really a friend of mine at one point in time. I don't even know where we fell off at. Like, I don't even <laughs> know why we not friends like we was because that was really a close friend of mine. Like, we done went to suspension schools and everything. Like, you understand? Because yeah. we fight together. So it's like, I don't, I don't understand where it went wrong. But just like a situation like that where I'm trying to move forward, you could just easily just get pushed back. Hmm. So what does Star Brim want to do moving forward? Um, like if you, you're speaking things in the in the fruition uh, right now. Um. Okay. So a lot of people, just because you know I have a social following, and because I have a lot of people that's in the industry that I'm cool with, like you know not only Cardi, but I'm cool with Remy. You know, La La. A lot of people. Shout out to Remy. She was Love the first Remy. person that ever put money on my books and nobody knows that. Wow. And she put money on my books every single month and I didn't even know her like that. Mm. That's another person I did not even know. She put $300 on my books every single wow. month for the time that I was in jail. And as soon as I got sentenced and I went downstairs and I checked my account, money was there from Mackie. Did you meet her beforehand? Or? I seen one time, I'm, I, I seen her at a club because I had a big fight in a club. So she remembered that, that that big fight that I had in the club. And then I seen her at two different other occasions where, you know, she was performing at a club and it was just, um, I mean, at a um, concert and we just, you know, high, whatever, you know, a little, little thing like that, but it wasn't no real. We got close while I was in jail. Like, we got real close while I was in jail. What was the fight that happened in the club that Remy saw? <laughs> um, it, okay, so... Because Remy respects violence. Okay, yes. No, she does. So, so she, you must have really been putting in work for yeah, the woman in your book. Yeah, ask her. I was, I was fighting this one bitch, and some other bitches tried to jump in, and I was just brawling with all of them. You feel me? But at one point in time, people's recording it. Somebody kicked me with a sock on, and the sock looked very dirty. So I went on Instagram, and I had a video, and I was like, I have money for whoever could find me the sock. <laughs> Whoever this dirty ass sock belongs to. That's like the hood Cinderella shit, yo. Cinderella. That's like some whoever, hood Cinderella shit. Whoever this sock belongs to, yeah. I'm willing to pay ten thousand dollars to find this bitch. Wow. wow. You get her. Cause first of all, you kicked me. Second of all, you kicked me with a sock. And third yeah. of all, it was dirty. That's <laughs> You couldn't, you couldn't kick me with a clean sock. Cannot do that. Cannot you couldn't, you couldn't have that. a clean. So- Why are you having a sock on in the club? Like yeah. you feel me? Why do you even have no yeah. shoes on? If you're gonna have no shoes on, have some slippers on. Why the fuck would you have on a dirty ass sock? Like, and this party just begun, so you can't tell me you was walking around the party. Y- y- no, you, you got that you dirty up sock. With a dirty yes, sock. you showed up yeah. with a dirty sock. So when that when that happened, the fight that I put that up and stuff like that, Remy came one day and she was like, "Yeah, bitches, where's the sock? Where's the sock, bitches? Like you feel me? Where's the bitch with the sock? We got the money for the bitch with the sock, and then we just got." Close like that and stuff like that. What if that was a person you beat up back in the day with a sock and right? they were trying that's, to get revenge? And that's how I felt. Like, cause it, no, I, I swear to God, I was fighting one person, then all of a sudden I, I'm fighting five. Forever, like, you bro. know, and that's how it always usually is in clubs. When I fight, it's like now it's like, oh yeah, yeah. we got free fall, let's get star. How like, you tall understand? are you? I'm five, three and a half. Get the fuck out of here. Count dude. my half. With the soul of a six four nigga. Yeah. What time? I fight on my phone. I'll show you later. I would love Can to I see, see it. it now. What time? Yeah. Um thank you. I mean, uh, did you ever find the girl that the sock girl? No, never found the sock girl. Okay, so Remy leaves the comment, and y'all cool ever since. <laughs> yeah, we cool ever since. Oh, and um, <laughs> where do I see myself? You said that's that what was the original want? question. Yeah. What's the what's the? Okay, so ba- okay, this is hold on. Let me see this. Chill picture. out. Let me talk. I'm about to snatch your phone. Damn, All right. I gotta find. Listen, I got a lot of. <laughs> got a lot of yeah, everybody, uh, get your cameras out. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's lit. It's super lit in here. After that, okay. <laughs> 
think this is it. Because I had I how many fights you got in this? I have, huh? a lot, I have a lot, but just pick one and then I'll start there. And then I'm gonna, I'll scroll I'm gonna show you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, don't scroll. Why? Because a lot of videos in here. You don't have any penises, do you? Yes. What the fuck is penises? Penises. Oh. <laughs> you didn't say that. You said, Yo, okay, come I'm on, wearing, bro. I'm wearing the red dress. Okay. And one of the times I spit on a girl and then I punched her and then she okay, fell. Okay, let me see um, what we got going on here. So, we, oh, you are in the club. Yeah, I'm in the club. This is very good. This is a lot of phones out here. Everybody is moving. <laughs> oh, wow. You're very rambunctious. You're in the middle. I see you. Oh, oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So okay, so basically a lot of people want me to be a rapper, right? A mm -hmm. lot of people always been saying that I should be a rapper, I should be a rapper, but I feel like I wanted to do my own lane. You understand? I wanted something that is for me. So I do definitely want to see where the podcast thing goes because I am I feel I'm very outspoken. I feel like it'll go somewhere, but I just want to do something that makes me happy. I don't want to do what other people want me to do. I don't want to follow in my friend's footsteps, you know, only because I'm at a point in my life where a lot of things don't affect me and I don't want people to be like, oh, she's only a rapper because of Cardi. Oh, she only made it because of yeah. Cardi. Oh, she didn't make it because of Cardi. Oh, you understand? It's going to be because of Cardi. I'm Cardi's friend, yeah, but I'm star brim at the end of the day. Like, you understand? Like, I was star brim and known before Cardi because y'all know me because of Cardi. That's y'all fault. Like, you understand? Yeah. That's not my fault that you know me because of her. I don't want to do something that doesn't make me happy. Whatever I do, it's not about the money no more. I've been broke a million times. I don't care about that. Have I you can't ever get tried my time back. Um, no, I have never tried. Let's start right now. Let's do it. I don't think you should rap either. I just think you got an ill story. You and I can battle. How much money? I got bars. Let me see. Let me hear. Hold on. No, no pulling out the phone. No, I'm pulling out money. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh wow, you can be disrespectful. That's it? This one, two, three, four US dollars. I got four US dollars. I can't even do nothing with that. You couldn't give me a right five? There. You what what? A five? I couldn't even get I'd five. I spent it on the way here on the water and the coffee. Damn, I don't know what to tell you to. I'm not in. You're not in. It's I'm not the, in the stakes aren't high enough. I'm not in. Do you know how many tuna sandwiches you can get with four dollars? Nothing. Like in the city of, at that? I don't even think I can get one. I need twenty five cents at least. Damn star, you're probably right. <laughs> I just think you got an ill story. And it's just a way to tell that. Maybe it doesn't story. have to be rap, though. I mean, Tax had this great story, and it was through podcasting. Podcast. He was that's able what she, to. That's what she does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe yeah, that's a cute butte podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. It just so happened that is number one today. Ooh, it came out. Today. Oh, it's out already. It's, yeah, it's out already. It came out at Congrats. eight o'clock today, and it's number one in music and number seventy five worldwide. I love it. Is this a loudspeaker network podcast? Yes. <laughs> of is course it, it is. Is it Briss Moreau? You yo, know that guy. Pris, but what? <laughs> yo, yo. You, know what, you know what to say. No, but bris Moreau, it's, it's actually double meaning because a bris is it's when you've you cut this a certain <laughs> size. <laughs> From now on, we calling him Briss Moreau, dude. It's Briss Moreau. Briss Moreau. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I love this new language. Respect the bees. What are yes. you talking about on the podcast? Um, on this podcast, I'm talking about my jail experience. Um, mm. I'm also talking about, um, I forgot the girl's name. Oh my God, I'm so mad I forgot her name. She's a new, art, like, no, she's not a new artist, but she has that song, Motivation, and she had, like, um, the video that just came out. I don't know who, who that is. Alex, who? Um, more, more. Lizzo? What's the, what's the lady's name? Naja? That, that just, that sings Motivation that I was talking about. Janet Jackson? <laughs> the, the one that I was talking about on the podcast, the one that sings Motivation, that was dancing in the video, the one that I gave... Oh. Kelly Rowland? No. She just came... No money. No money. Yes. No money. I, I was talking about how I, I really, really like her, like, cause yeah. especially because... She don't want to battle me A neither. lot of people that don't know, I used to dance when I was young, like, not um, strip dancing, but, you know, I used to do ballet and stuff okay. like that. So I really like that she was doing her thing. And then on top you of it... You used to do ballet? Yes. You know, I come from a dance family. Don't let me lift this leg up, because you know it could go all the way up. I'm just saying. Like, you feel me real flexible on the sides. Like, but can you do second position? Position, third position, yes, position, I can do fifth. all like Do what? you want to see a picture of me in my ballet outfit? I mean, I duh. Lit. Like, I am lit. Girl, now, now you got me. <laughs> like, <laughs> but, now I'm my, but my I'm podcast is video. talking about a lot of jail experience that I had. Like, a, because of who my friend is, a lot of people think that a lot of people think that I had the best jail sentence because of Cardi B. I had the worst jail sentence ever. Because oh, everybody knew that I, was your friend. I had CO spitting in my food. I no. had them. My yes, I had CO spitting in my food for five months in a box. I didn't eat. I ate um, at, um oranges, bananas, and potato chips because I could peel it. You understand? They other had a protective that, covering. Yes, yeah. other than that, I didn't eat it because once I see you spitting my food one time, I'm not going to trust that you not keep doing it. Why would it. So they like, do that? They don't like Cardi? 
they don't like Cardi. They don't like that she was um, anti-Trump. Like, you understand? Like, they don't like that. They wow. used to come in like, who the fuck is her to talk about my president? Fuck you now. Like, you understand? Like, they'll take it out on me. They would cut my water off for three days. My water was off and I was drinking out my toilet water. Wow. Like, that's Wait why a minute, what? I, yeah, I drank toilet water. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I, what I am mean, I going to do? That's so yes, crazy. crazy. Yeah. So basically, yeah. Trump supporters that were the, the CEOs and shit. Yeah, a lot of CEOs who just didn't like, you know, that I guess wow. I was who I am on Instagram because they used to follow my Instagram. Even when she shouted me out on my birthday, I didn't know. I knew because they came and started harassing me and, you know, doing like a whole bunch of fuck shit because... um. She did that. I don't have a phone. I don't know what she's doing. You understand? Mm. But they came like, oh, it's your fucking birthday. Fuck out of here. You think you the shit because it's your birthday. They would throw my food on the floor. Um, they would not give me tissue. So after a while, what I'm laying on the sheets, I would rip up and I would have to use that to wipe my ass. You know, oh because what am I What am I going to use to wipe the shit off my ass? And what you about when your period on? Yeah. I didn't get my period in jail. Wow. I had, um, before I went to jail, I made sure to get like the neuro plant thing that's in your arm. This I made sure, like I pre-planted this so that I didn't get my period in jail because I know like I'll probably be a different person, you know? So um, it's like, it prevents you from getting your period. Wait it was like a birth control in your arm. You can stop periods? Yeah. This is like 2019. What are you talking about? Can you write this down? For, what is the name of this You thing? didn't know that? Like A neuro plant? I th- it's like... It's so many different birth controls that doesn't make my you get girl's your period. period is yeah, what you're you can even to get Do it the old shots. fashioned way. <laughs> Shoot her goddamn Leave club up. Exactly. <laughs> All right, get her pregnant. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I didn't I didn't I wasn't catching my period while I was in Neuro here. plant. So right now, podcast in your immediate future. Yes. Neuroplant. Like I even came home this fucked up. Genius. Like I didn't I, I spoke about that on Neuroplant. the um podcast too because I came home. Mm. not even realizing that you could eat like you could eat you're free now like you could eat when you want to eat like you understand like I Mm. had to the point where first meal what was your first meal my first meal wasn't even my first meal because the first day I was home, I forgot that I'm. What was your to first eat. legit meal? My first legit meal was um, sawfish and kalu that my grandmother made because sawfish I'm, and balu. Yeah, that yeah. balu. Yeah, yeah, that Listen. you know. Because be my grandmother. Can, be re- be, can we be respectful of the set? Her. Can we be respectful of the set? All right, she unlocking her purse, B. <laughs> <laughs> you got that. <laughs> you were trying I to give keep, me some money. I keep trying to tell you. You were trying you. to give me some money. Wow. You know, I'm trying to Holy tell you. Holy shit! Stop. Stop correcting me. Because what I'm is it? Little ways. What is it? You don't want to know. You don't want to know. Oh, it looks like those Crest floss strips. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna floss you, alright? <laughs> You're gonna get flossed, alright? Ginger body to the face. But, <laughs> 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 Bleed but um, I, I forgot that I could eat. You know, and right. then I used to sit there at my window. I talked about this. My institutionalized. Sister. Yes, I was so institutionalized. Yeah. I used to sit there at the window. My mom would call me, right? So she'd call me, and I'd just be like. And she's like, what? What the fuck are you smiling at? I'm like, nothing. What, what are you talking about? She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm at the window. I'm watching people outside. So she's like, she's like, go okay. outside. <laughs> listen, listen. She's like, okay, no, I'm in halfway house. I can't go outside. Uh, I'm not yet. You know, so I'm like, she's like, okay. So then she called back like an hour later and I'm doing the same thing. So she's like, why the fuck are you at the window? I'm like, listen, let me tell you something. This is the first time in five months that I could see people mm. in my box. They they, because they don't like me, yeah. they covered up my window. So for five months, I didn't know whether it was six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. The only time I, only reason I knew it was anything is because at six o'clock in the morning, that's when your breakfast tray would come around. Right. At eleven o'clock, you know, lunch tray, right. stuff like that. And I used to only hear people outside. I would hear sirens. I would hear dogs barking. I would hear it, but I wasn't able to see it. Right. So I didn't even realize that. I'm happy to see construction workers and just people walking down the block and I didn't even realize it until my mom is like, get out the window. And it's like, I can see people. Like I'm seeing the voices and connecting faces with the voices. I'm not just sitting somewhere for five fucking months. What did that do to your mental health? voices. What did that do to your mental health? Go a little crazy a little bit? Crazy, (sighs) if you will? Stop correcting my... I corrected me. You know what you do again. I said, said brazy. No I, I said brazy. I, I said brazy. I said what I said. I think you have a crush on me. No. <laughs> or a brush, if you will. I'm not into, I'm, I'm not, I'm not into light like skinned guys or oh white guys. I like I don't like pink dicks. <laughs> you don't like pink dicks? No. What about beige? No. Mine's more beige. Black. It ain't black, I promise you that. <laughs> if it's black, something wrong. I like brown. <laughs> so what but, does that do to your mental health? Um, 
I guess it fucked it up a little, but I didn't notice it. You know, I didn't realize it that it was fucking it up. I didn't realize that I'm going days only eating one meal a day, not yeah. realizing like, oh shit, Star, you're free. You could eat. Like, you understand? You're allowed to eat. Like, yeah. I would really, I was so used to starving for five fucking months. I didn't, it's like second nature. Like, mm. I didn't even, it, it didn't bother me no more. I was, I'm always hungry. I, that's how I live life. Like, you understand? I'm always hungry. I survived on bananas and oranges f- for five fucking months. Right. Like, I survived drinking water out the fucking toilet. Like, you know, like, this is what I survived on. Mm. Like, this is, this was life. Like, you understand? And it was normal. It, it got so normal. Mm. Like, even times, like, it was times where, um, I get an apple because it's not all the time you get oranges and I would just have to starve that day because they're giving apples on trays today. Like, you understand? Or they're giving fruit that's not, that's just like, you know, yeah. mixed fruit that's just out in like sauce and water and shit like Can't that. Can't trust it. You're probably spitting that. I'm not eating yeah. that. Have you gotten back to a sense of normalcy yet? Not all the way. Wow. Um, sometimes I still forget to eat. Um, sometimes I still have that, I don't know, like, I just still have certain things that I catch on to like, yo, sis, you forgot to eat today or you don't have to be so aggressive or you don't have to be, you know, so angry or don't worry about it. Like you're not in there. Like you understand you're fine. Like you're not in there. Mm. You don't have to walk around with the scaffold between mm-hmm. your butt cheeks. Like, you know, you don't have to do that. But um, it's certain things that I'm appreciative of, like just being able to be outside. Like you understand being able to walk around freely that I just always look at like, yo, I don't let shit get me mad. Like, I was just, look where I was at. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Look where I was at. I wasn't even in regular jail. Like, and I wasn't in regular box. I was in the box getting tortured. Mm. I was getting tortured. tortured. They wasn't giving me, you oh, know, yeah, okay, you know okay. what I'm saying? I was, I was being tortured. They wasn't giving me my meals. They were spitting in my food. They was not giving me my mail at time. They was hanging up my phone calls. They was doing stuff that they don't normally do to people, but because I'm who I'm connected to, this is what they was doing to me. So it's not like I just had a regular jail sentence and they just took away my freedom. No, y'all took away everything. But I always had that mentality like, Y'all can handle me like this in here, but y'all wouldn't even live to talk about it outside if y'all did this to me. Like, you understand? Like, yeah. you wouldn't even be able to do this to me on the outside. So you could have it. You could power struggle. You could have that. You understand? Y'all could do what y'all got to do in here because you probably one of those motherfuckers I picked on in school. You know, you probably was getting bullied your whole life and now you have a sense of power. So you're trying to use it. Mm. But it's OK because you know what, bitch? You can't do that to me outside. And it was all because Cardi didn't like Trump. That was one of the reasons. It was not like it was reasons because just because of who she is, they just I guess didn't like her. They didn't like me. They didn't like that. Like they would come around like, oh, you think you popping because you got eight thousand in your account? Like you know shit like that. That is like, why are you even watching my account? You broke nigga. Like you feel me? It's not my fault that you're broke. It's not my fault. Scam. It's okay. You can do it too. That's why I'm in here. That's why that's there. <laughs> Dude, you can do the same thing if you want to scam. You know nobody's stopping you from scamming, right? Like I had to tell him, you know, nobody, nobody's stopping you from selling drugs. And they used to be so upset. Like I remember one officer told me. That he did um, so much time in the um, the Navy, and now he only gets less than forty five thousand a year working there. So a lot of people was upset. Like you know, he was really upset. Like you get less than that. It's one lady says she only gets thirty five thousand a year. So some of that is like what a McDonald's worker. Yeah, yeah. Because if McDonald's workers and stuff make fifteen dollars an hour, that's basically kind of like your salary in a way. But wow. you're in here. You feel me dealing with people who could cut your face open yeah. if you move the Massive wrong way. Risk you understand? For that you're kind dealing. Of money. Yeah. yeah. So it's like they're upset. They're they're sitting here reading people case files, knowing, oh yeah, this person had a mansion. This person had this. This person had a Porsche or this type of car, and I'm driving this. You know, like that's what they're they're seeing. There's like a lot they look. They look. Yeah, they look through that. Like the officers look through your case files and they see, right. oh, this person was this big of a drug dealer. This person big of a this and this big of a that. So. They they ups- upset about it. Star, this is my guy, humble the poet. He's an author. Hi, how he's you a rapper doing? too, but he's 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 very intellectual. What have you observed? Yo, this humble. is this is a dope interview, man. I can sit on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah put it on the chair. That'd be a lot better, I think. What what is your assessment of Star Brim? Oh man, I love humble the poet. Ir- irrespective oh, of, of every story that she told, how uh, she's still very considerate of other people's feelings. Mm. Like she wasn't, you know, we're talking about the the person transitioning. And she was still trying to be very considerate of that person. And I also love that no matter how much bullshit she went through, she wasn't eliciting any sympathy. She mm. didn't sound like she was feeling sorry for herself. No, nah, not at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She I, just, I just, you just sound like you own everything you that you've why? done. Because I feel happen. like I did a crime. If I didn't do this and I was in there and I didn't do it, then it's like I'm getting all this. I feel like I have no rights. You have no rights in jail. And I went to jail knowing that. I prepped. I knew that I was going to jail. You know, I got mentally, physically, and financially ready to go in. So I knew, like, at the end of the day, Star, if you ain't scam, you wouldn't be here. And if you, you wouldn't be going through this. No officer would be able to do this to you. So who the fuck are you to complain about? 
about something you did. Oh. I'm in here. I did it. I did Ooh. that shit. I'm not in here uh, for wrong. Like, no, I wasn't yeah. wrongly convicted. They got it right. I did this shit. You yeah. feel me? I'm in here because I did a fucking crime. And I felt like no crime is bigger than another crime. I don't respect rapists and I don't respect serial killers. But other than that, I don't give a fuck if it's tax evasion. I don't give a fuck if you're selling drugs, selling your ass. A crime is a crime. There's no bigger crime, no less crime. You broke the law, period. You and feel pedophile, me? that pedophile. Yeah, pedophile. I don't, yeah, of course. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't respect anything else. So it's like, I know what I did. I know why I'm in here. I'm not wrongly convicted. So if this is what I got to do because I did wrong or oh well. Like, I'm not right. No, Humble said something just not that interesting because you said you don't have empathy for people at one point you said you got there a little bit I said I don't be caring about stuff in the street like I just yeah, walk yeah, past yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but you do have empathy for your your people I guess I have empathy and sympathy for them yeah yeah of I course. think not I even care for them. yeah it seems like you do you seems like you are filled with a lot of empathy yeah of course yeah, I just you, you, I, I just mind the business that is not my business but if you my friend or somebody close to me you're my business even when she's talking about like what she's willing to do moving forward mm -hmm. she's just like she'll take a charge she'll take the time or whatever like that's that's some, on some grown adult responsibility shit, even mm -hmm. though she's talking from a street perspective. I thought that was super cool. I thought that what you brought up about the trans thing was really interesting. Here's this person that is trying to rape her, and you're still being respectful of how they want to be labeled. Yeah, I'm... It's not, Do you know what it's, I mean? Like it's not even more so how they want to be labeled. It's more so how I'm going to be labeled, because at the end of the day, now I'm going to be a rat because... No, but oh, no, 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 I'm saying like well, you, you were saying him, you were saying like, let me her. call him oh, yeah, him. Yeah, yeah I, I guess I don't know. I guess like that's if you try to rape me, me I'm call you whatever the a fuck rapist. I want to call you. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, you're you're a a she, yeah. Yeah. whatever the fuck you a rapist, you're a piece know. of shit. I guess, I guess I do have that in me. Like yeah, I just be one like you are what you are. You're saying so it's like I'm not gonna disrespect you because you tried to rape me. I, guess I that's will. Wrong, right, that's the perfect time. Usually, fuck him. That's how I'm a disrespect it. I'm still call you him. You're him because that's what you're changing into. At the end of the day, I would never want somebody to t tell me you know call me something that I'm not like mm. I'm, I don't give a fuck what I did to you bitch I'm a girl like you mm. understand so I don't give a fuck what I did to you at the end of the day you know the fuck I'm doing I'm transitioning like yeah. I respect I will, my shit I will. so it's like I don't know like it's weird uh, that's, yeah, a, that's a bar too what to spend time in the box because I wouldn't give him the box yes <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you something else I've heard a lot of jail rape stories yeah, I've never heard a woman being raped by somebody who's transitioning. That's a different take on it. Yeah, my first, that is. my first two days in jail, I, I seen a girl get raped next to me. People be thinking that just because you're inside of a female prison that it doesn't happen. It happens. Raped by who? Another another girl. Yeah, like um, with the whole ace bandage thing. And st no, sticking stuff up them like plungers and you know things that just don't belong up there. And thing is, I mind Oof. my business. I was I'm new to the jail. I don't know what she did. You understand? I don't know what she did to get that. Like not that anybody deserves it, but. I'm not going to be next because I'm jumping into this and she probably did something to you or, you know, there's a lot of people, like a lot of females that's in jail that's for touching kids and they get, they get handled. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, don't, they don't respect that. So for all I know, she could be a, a child toucher. Right. So who are you? You're not going to protect Yeah, I'm not protecting you, bitch. Yeah, like, you, yeah. I'm, I'm like that in the street though. If I see somebody, if something's going on, you know, you see somebody jumping on somebody. I don't know what you the never fuck know. that person did. Yeah. Like, even when it comes to driving, when I first used to sit here and I used to drive and people used to try to get in front of me and stuff like that, I'm an aggressive driver. So I used to be like, fuck out of here. I'm not letting them through. You know, bull garden. But now I feel like, what about they're rushing to go to somebody in the hospital? What word, about they're rushing word, to go to their word. kid? What about they're rushing to because th somebody's getting jumped that they need to go save? Right. So now I get the fuck out the way. You understand? It yeah. is what it is. But before, my mentality used to be like, mm, fuck that. But now it's like, they're probably rushing to actually go somewhere they need to go. That's a New York thing, though. Because yeah. I feel like we grow up here where we're constantly being hustled. Like someone on the street is coming up to you every second. Like, hey, you got a little money for the environment? Or, hey, you got this? Hey, you got this? Hey, you got this? So when someone cuts us off, we're like, oh, you thought you could take advantage you think you of could do that to you me? Thought, yeah, exactly. That, to I think me? That, it, it, but I noticed that like friends of mine who aren't from New York or aren't from the city, like you know, like nice suburban parts of California, they don't have that same angst. They're just like, ah, let them go. And who gives a fuck? Yeah. I, mean, I, I hate people that get roll rage. Like, why are you tripping yeah. for? Like, let him go. Yeah. Who gives a shit? Yeah, yeah. Like, who gives a fuck? Yeah, it's smart, man. Well, Star, give me your Instagrams and Twitters and all of that good stuff. Okay, so my Instagram is star underscore brim five, and my Twitter is star brim two. Okay. The podcast is also brought to you by 
Blue e-cigs. Now, this is a warning. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. It's not for sale to minors. Now, cigarettes are simple. And thanks to my blue, vaping can be too. With easy-to-use pre-filled liquid pods and a 20-minute charge, my blue gets you to vape all day. Just click it and go. Plus, my blue has the widest selection of flavors. Find my blue in a store near you or order online. MyBlue.com. Website is restricted to 21 and over. Now, let's get back to the show. Oh, quickly, I just want to say, Chicago people, um, we're adding a, a secret show. What's well, not a secret because I'm saying it right now, but we had to wait to the to the day of the show to announce it. Um, Zany's Comedy Club, 1015, Thursday night. You can get tickets at theandrewschultz.com. It's going to be very limited. We're going to have a fun little show. What? What, Al? What? Yeah, yeah. Look at Alex complaining. Anyway. 10, 15, Thursday night. Uh, no more tickets left for the uh, Thalia Hall show, so we're doing a cool little surprise Papa show. Zany's Comedy Club, Thursday night, 10, 15, theandrewshows.com. Limited seats available. Go get them, go get them, go get them, go get them. Um, the Brilliant Idiots now has its own YouTube page. Um, make sure you go. It's youtube.com slash brilliant idiots pod. Okay. Uh, we're putting up all the clips, the full episodes, etc. There are so many of you guys have already found it, but make sure you go there, check it out. We're going to drop all the clips and all the full episodes there first. So that's the first place you're going to get it. You can still, uh, watch them on my, uh, YouTube page, youtube.com slash the Andrew Schultz for the time being, but eventually we're going to push everything over there at youtube.com slash brilliant idiots pod. So we can put more clips, more behind the scenes footage, every, Thing, et cetera, really build that up. Thank y'all so much for the support. Um, all right, back to the show. This really reminds me of, of when Tax Stone came on the podcast back in the it day. Does. It does. I, yeah, and you have a lot of. I want to listen to them, but energy. you know, I don't even listen to my own podcast. Like, I'm nervous to hear my voice because I'm scared. So, I don't listen to my podcast, and I have been told not to listen to none because I don't want to. They don't want me to, like, follow it like you understand they want me to like tax want me to have my own guidelines so he doesn't want me to listen to anything because he feels like I don't want you to feel like you have to do it this way or you have to do it that way just be you so I just be like you know okay I'm not gonna listen to none but I have never listened to no podcast that's and interesting advice no nah, that's yeah. the best advice he, yeah that's what he told me he told nah, me don't listen to shit I just want you even advice. Dustin said that he said don't listen to shit because I want you to be you so yeah. I don't want you to go on there saying oh yeah damn I maybe should be like this or I should talk like this or I should be like that so they like no just Go on and just be star. And it's like, oh, what about they don't like a star? I never knew how to do radio. So when I first started doing radio, I was just a motherfucker fresh off the dirt road in Mount Corner, South Carolina, going in there drunk high and just talking. And I still don't know how to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, 22 years later. So that's just, yes, the best, that's the best advice he could give you. Just you know why? Just go in there and do you. It stops you from trying to get them to like you. You just said something interesting. You're like, well, what if they don't like star? There are people out there that will like Star. And there are people, there's gonna be people that don't like Star. people that don't. But if you are unapologetically yourself, you can get those people that do like you to gravitate to you. And you don't ever have to fake being you. You have unlimited content yeah. for the rest of your life. You can only fake be someone. For so long. For so long, only yo. Fake thugs, yeah. and then, it's only so long fake thugs can pretend. And they like, get exposed. Like I tell my manager, I'm just... I just in a point in my life where I'm just like at space and at peace. So it's like now when I'm opening myself, I'm opening myself up. I'm opening Good. for you to judge me. I'm I'm telling you stuff about me that you never know. So it's like I'm giving people That's a, a reason to know me now. Like you know, uh, and it's like it's scary because yes, it is. You're playing like you you're know you're judging vulnerable. me. Like I'm, well, I'm back to what you said. Is she vulnerable. Me. This is being yeah, vulnerable. Like, I'm, ready I'm, to be I'm vulnerable. I'm being judged right now, and it's like I'm I'm not used to it because I'd rather be judged for people who like oh whatever she don't know me, but for me to now put out my life story and to tell tell certain things about me and it's being judged it's like bitch you, you think I'm playing like I'll fuck you up like you mm. feel me like I don't be wanting bad judgment or anybody to say anything about me because I feel like it's gonna hurt my feelings and I'm gonna go back to how I was and I don't wanna be back like and that and you shouldn't but here's the thing you went through all of those experiences for a reason to have a story to tell and now you know even going to therapy every week that's gonna help you to be able to to not just tell that story, but understand that story a little bit more. So you Don't got con you got content for ye forever. That's psychic. Very scary. Why? Yeah. Just because you make she makes you feel. No, um, no, I, I never. We never really actually got a chance to speak because I kept avoiding different meetings and stuff like that. Sure. So tomorrow is when it's first time that I'm gonna actually get to speak do to it. her. But do it's just her. I don't know. Like I don't know how to bring it up. I don't know what to. You know, I don't know what to do. You it's just sat here for two hours. You just sat here for two hours. Just talk, yo. And and when I mean I know I listen. But y'all talking to me is different. This is a listen. I understand. It must be nice to sit across from me and look at me for two hours. I'm aware of this. It, listen, I get it. I completely get it, okay? You do? I do. I've seen you, myself before. 
that's pretty fucking amazing. I don't want to see you with no white guy. If you, if you end up with Andrew, listen, I'm going to be like, yo, what the listen, fuck? Listen, right. <laughs> yo, listen. Listen, listen. That's listen. my little sis. I'm not even Dude. into light-skinned guys. So now for me to go to white, it's like, First of all, on. let me correct you yo, on that. Yo, by the way, I no. just block you. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I was about to say, I'm, I'm dark-skinned white. You can't even get the tuna at this point. I don't even care about it. I don't even care about it. I can't Overkill. even get the tuna? Nope. That's foul, dude. I, I thought we built something. Now, what are we talking Been about here? Now? I don't know. Tuna, tuna, or like? <laughs> no, the, the other tuna. Oh, like all right, okay. Tuna. It better not be tuna. No, the Let me tell you tuna. something. You can't make tuna salad without some mayonnaise. I'm all right. I use mustard. I'm going to use mustard. I'm going to use mustard. <laughs> We are cooking, ladies and gentlemen. We are cooking. But but no, the, the, truthfully though, always remember, and whatever you do, three people gonna like it, three people not gonna like it, and four people just gonna be transitioning. And I'm gonna be mad at the three people for not liking it. <laughs> nah, why? No, not. You can't focus on that. Guys, why the fuck you don't like real shit? What kind of person are you if you don't respect the realness? Like just they like might you be said, fake. the majority really, of people, well, they yourself. might be fake. Find yourself if you're fake. Yeah, but that's not your day, job like, to help. How can them? you not respect but somebody that's what they're that's doing? They're telling this when they hate on you. They're telling their story. You know what I mean? Like, that's exactly what So if they say to you, like, yo, she's only popping because of Cardi, that's them saying, like, I can't accept that she did something on her own. Ooh. I'm going to make up an excuse as to why she's successful so I don't feel bad about Ooh. myself. You know what Ooh. I mean? I like him. I like him. <laughs> yeah. You, you no. said you mustard? <laughs> <laughs> yo, chill out, bro. Chill out, Humble. Nah, chill, humble out, got yo. Like, chill out, Chill out. Yo, that's mine right nah, he got no. a <laughs> Humble got a book called Unlearned that is really, really dope and it's so easy to read. I think you would really, really like it. I need like the it. book. You know, we'll get you the book. We'll get you the book. Fact about Star Brim. I read a book a day. Word. Word? What's the last book you read? Um, The Boy Called It. Ooh. You ever Isn't that based off a movie or something? No, nah, that was I'm just sure. it. Is it Steven King? Yes. No. Wow. That's the last book So you I like read. fiction? Um, I like everything. I like um suspense. I like um mystery. I like um scientific books. Like, what? I like Basically anything that'll probably catch my attention, you but even read in the, the box. Uh, autobiography of Malcolm X. I have never read. That's it. the one you got to read. Yeah, that's, that's the one. Yeah, because that's the that's the to me that's the greatest story of growth and evolution mm. ever. Like I read like like I be having I have a whole bunch of like regular books, but then you know I got the app on my phone where you know I buy books and stuff like that. But you can people, a lot to of people too. a lot of people don't know that I and I, I've been like that since I was young. I read almost a book a day. I can tell by the way you articulate. Yeah, that's I what do. I'm saying when you uh, say when you say you don't have intellect, I'm like, who told you that? I don't feel like I have it as maybe okay so let me take that back I don't think I ha, not that I don't have intellect I think that I don't have growth like him like you know like personal growth he's like, older I feel than like you he's, give yourself time yeah. in therapy come on star is coming I'm really upset that you keep saying therapy I go every week that's you <laughs> this is me this is you like stop trying to put what you do I think on it, me I think it's gonna be good for you though it's gonna really help with your growth I really do I don't think my manager agrees with that Alex, you don't like therapy before? I do. She's I'm lying. Saying. She's lying. She Tax told me needed not to it go. three years ago. Facts. He did. Facts. Ten years ago. No, for real. If you don't, hopefully, is if, if you don't give it good advice to the people that you care about, are you even a good friend? Oh, of course not. That's what I'm saying. Is he's trying to do right here? Yeah. He's not trying to change you. He's not trying to do anything. He would never recommend something that he would think would hurt you. He has you here because he believes in you, right? He asks you to come. So if he's giving you more advice. Is somebody that actually has your best interest at heart. He's not making no money off you. I don't you. think he would what, ever what does he get out of this? I don't think he would ever tell me anything that's not going to, you know, benefit me. Exactly. But sometimes yeah. what you might think benefits me might not benefit me. But if you don't try, right, you won't right. know, right? right? Of course. So that's why I'm going tomorrow. I have no choice. Hey. Judge told me I got to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have no choice. It's either go back to jail for not going to therapy or be outside. Bet. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to therapy. Like, I'm not going to jail for that. That's not tough. You know, like, but sometimes, like, I don't honestly don't ever feel him or anybody that's close to me will ever tell me anything that's not right. But sometimes you might feel is right and it might not be right for you. It might not be right for you. Now you're right. That's also, but also, yeah, don't absolutely. they say, like, therapy is a mirror. It's not someone telling you what to do. They're just trying to help you figure out who you are. That's it. You know what the yeah. thing is, too? Help I just, I just really better. feel like I'm going to be... So I'm going to get back into like, I'm going to go backwards. You know, I'm going to sit here and relive everything. And I don't want it to make me angry again because mm. I was angry. But you know what? I don't there's science. there's actual science behind that. So. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's going to take mm -hmm. me back to the point where I'm going to be mad at my mom. And I'm going to be upset at this because I'm reliving it. You, you I'm will. Back. But here's the thing. I don't want to. There's, there's some will. real science Not behind now. this. Not now. So here's let's the thing. This, let's do this in the future. That bullshit, I can't deal with this right now. But the thing is that bullshit's hovering over you. So now there's only two choices. You wait for that bullshit to catch up to you or you turn around and face the bullshit. And there's science behind it. 
that people who uh, voluntarily revisit trauma heal quicker. Yeah, I'd rather heal heal later. I'm all right with it. It's honest about it. I can't hit on that, but like, it's, just, it's gonna just, catch you like, either think way. About it. I just did three months at halfway house, which I wasn't really free. Freedom now has been two months. I personally don't feel I'm ready to go back to being that angry person. You only been home and two months, it. like free, free, yeah. Oh shit! Why does it seem like it's longer? Yo, because shit. I was in halfway house, oh, but, okay, okay, so okay. I was sneaking outside and stuff like that, and I was on the gram. But I wasn't really free. I still had to go to a place where I'm in a cell. You understand? I'm going sleeping on jail beds. I'm only get six hours outside. So you know, it seemed like I'm living my life because I'm for them six hours. I'm like this, you know, camera out. I'm out here, but really, I was still basically locked up for three months. I only been really free for two months. So it's like I don't think personally I'm ready right now. I feel like let me be free a little more. You get. Yeah. You'll get there. You know, You're doing be, when you're supposed to. I, I think you like the autobiography yeah. of Malcolm X. You should his read story it, it lines up with yours. You said you learned a lot going to jail. I'm definitely gonna read it. That's today, where he he's he's from Harlem. He's Harlem. Harlem. Yeah. yeah. And then he was his nickname was Satan. In jail. Yes. He and didn't he, believe in God. He I, didn't, I didn't believe in God until I went to jail. Yeah. Really? I had a jail mom named Yaya and um, she basically like her story is crazy too because she got emancipated adult young at I think like 14 because she refused to marry her um, her cousin she's from Saudi Arabia so like and she went to jail the first time she did 10 years and then the second time she did 15 she's the person that got me out there to like start having faith because besides like like my mom and my dad besides them she was the only person that used to just sit there and look at me every day and be like yo you know you're beautiful you know you're smart you know you're this you know like just basically try like encourage me and just always mm -hmm. give me kind words and she used to always say like sometimes people might feel because you're so angry to approach you like yo you need to fucking stop da -da -da. but sometimes with a person like me you just need to love me yeah. That's, all, that's all you need to do is love me. That's it. That's what and all My whole human. barrier just melt down. You understand? But if you come to me with, ah, 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 I'm coming at you like that, while mm -hmm. other people that might work, it just doesn't work for me. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I'm the type of person where sometimes, and she said that with her kids, she had to learn that. She had to learn that she can't keep coming at him like, yo, what the fuck is you doing? You do. She just had to love him. What's your sign? I'm a Pisces. Okay. Tuna! <laughs> <laughs> Why y'all gonna do that when I'm here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fucking tuna Pisces Isn't Pisces the fish? So what? Well, that's why, why you love tuna. Snapper? Why can't be Red Snapper? That's right. Well, you didn't bring up Red Snapper. Well, I'm telling you, I'm Red well, Snapper. Well, if they put that in a can, then you would be. Yep. <laughs> you need to talk to the Sun Kiss people. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I, I can't wait. To, uh, no point intended. I can't wait to see continue to see your star rise. Thank you. And I think that you can do whatever it is you put your mind to. Mm. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, you know, for having me. No, nah, anytime. Thank, Thank you for, for being me. here, Star. Anytime. Kill it. Go out there and kill it, yo. I'm trying. I'm trying. Just hope I don't kill nobody. No, listen. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna tell you something. I ain't no killer, though. When, when we get off the air, I'm gonna. No, you know, I'm not even gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait and tell you once we get off the air. Humble. You want to say anything? I was just gonna say one one more thing about that whole social media. People get like a lot of people get impacted by that. I think you solved the, you solved the issue just through your life. Like you said, you're in jail. You ain't had no phone, so it didn't bother you. Like that's all people have to do is adjust their environment. Like I don't have social media on the phone that I carry around. I got like another old phone with all my Instagram everything on it. Check it once or twice a day, right? And then that's way less opportunities to just read some shit to fuck up my day. I just feel like a lot of people don't realize how hurtful some of their words are. Like, people are committing suicide because of stuff word. like this. Like, you yeah. understand? Like, I have feelings. I'm not a robot. It doesn't matter how tough I am. I'm not a robot. Yeah. I have feelings. You understand? So it's like, I don't think people realize, like, you really are coming out your day from doing whatever you're doing to discourage my day. Yeah. Mm. It's, what is wrong it, with it's you? Graffiti. Like, really, it's what's wrong graffiti, with you? Like, yeah. for real, because I don't do that. There's a million things I see on social network that I'd be like, I feel like being like, what the fuck? Take that off. Or this is I don't. Yeah. I don't care. Like, or whatever. I just unfollow, block, don't want to see it no more. Mm -hmm. Whatever. You understand? So it's like, really? Like, so it took time for me to go to jail and realize it. But it's like, it's like saying it to a person. They're not going to understand it. Because if you would have said this to me, I wouldn't. Yeah. I don't I'm just being real Drake, about it. Drake's I wouldn't understand it. About that. I don't I'm not gonna sit here and be like, "Oh yeah, I'm not taking, I'm taking it off my phone." No, I'm not. You know, Question: When women get out of jail, do they be horny? Um, yeah. Because they always talk about that fresh jail dick. Is there yeah, fresh jail? I, it's, yeah, like vagina? me. Okay, so 
<laughs> I used to tell people, like, listen, this pussy right here, this this is some auction pussy. Like, I've been in jail for a year. This is basically virgin pussy right now. Like, you feel me? Like, I basically have virgin pussy. I haven't been fingering myself. I didn't have no dildo in there. So this pussy is like a virgin. Like, what's up? Like, this shit right here is a treat. You know, but you definitely, definitely be horny, especially if you wasn't doing anything in there. Because my jail mom used to always tell me, play the guitar, which basically she's saying, play your strings. Like, you know, like, play with your pussy. Like, you'll be less angry. And it's like, I can't. <laughs> First of all, I'm hearing all y'all hoes all day. I'm not attracted to girls. You feel me? I, I don't, I don't want to play the guitar. I'm not into guitars. Yeah, scrum in my pain with, with my fingers. Finger. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I, I don't want to play the guitar. You did 15 years. You know how to play your guitar. I, I already did like three months so far. I don't want to play my guitar. Like Yo, That's the first single from your album. You're right. So did you lose your virginity since you've been home? Of course I lost my virginity since I've been oh, home. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. first day. First oh, day? Right? Okay, Before like the you next ate? Day. The next day. When they gave me my pass, yeah. When I was supposed to be at church. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, somebody I'm didn't sorry. really love God like they said they did in jail. <laughs> I, found, I, found, I found God in jail. I found Dick on the outside. Church? Yeah. Come on now. First of all, if you was locked up for all this time and your first time outside is a church pass for three hours, what you going to do? I wouldn't go get some dick. I'll go get some pussy. Exactly. But yeah. yeah. But not for the whole three hours. Why yeah. Not? First of all, it takes Who's time to get for there. Three hours? No, it takes time to get there. Like, first of all, it oh, took. Oh, got you. I, it, you, you. Three hours is three hours. It doesn't, it includes travel. So it's so for you to get there. So, how far were you traveling for dick? I was traveling from, from the Bronx all the way to Queens for some dick and then Whoa. back. Whoa. Was yes. it worth the. Why wouldn't you come the to the ride? Bronx, cheap bastard? Where the fuck are we going to find anything in the Bronx? You go feel to nice hotel. hotels? I don't know no nice hotels in the Bronx. I'm from Brooklyn. You got a point. But I know nice hotels. Okay? So I'm sorry, even though, even though I'm fresh home, yeah. I ain't sitting on anything now. Like, yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. I done sat on shit in jail. Like, I ain't about to get butt naked and whip this fresh pussy out on you or no fucking motels in the Bronx. Yeah. No. So you went to Queens. His yes. house or hotel? Hotel. And got nasty. And got nasty. Nasty. For how long? Um, I think it probably was like 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> Can you imagine if you only got three hours and then the person wants to talk? How, how are you? How have you no, been? No, you know, somebody, I, came, I walked into the hotel room and was just like this. Take like, it off. Take everything off while Let's I'm walking go. in and he's looking at me like, <laughs> like yeah. what? Not gonna talk to me? No, but then listen. But then he's like, like, okay, fuck it. I guess this is what we doing. Yes, you got yes, three hours, nigga. nigga. So First of all, we only got like thirty minutes left. We still got it. It might be traffic. Let's get to going. Yeah, I don't want to talk. Yeah, let's go. I talk to you all the time. That's so it. you guys went at it ten minutes, mm -hmm. and then after it's done, what's is? It, are you like feeling relieved? Or are you? Did like, you nut? Yes, you I nut? nutted a few times. I was mad because I didn't get around two, but I was I was fine. Wait, you nutted a few times and you still wanted a round two. Yeah, I did. You only had three hours. Now, I, I don't know how old like... this guy was, but if he's anything like my age. <laughs> yeah. All right? Ain't no round two. Ain't no round two. It's going to take I'll about seven, eight hours to get to round two. Next yeah. Sunday, yeah. you get round two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, was there foreplay? What a girl no. question to ask. Was no. there foreplay? No, it probably was a little sucking of the nipples because that's like my spot. But you really love that. Yeah. Taylor. Taylor. It was, there, she was in there jail. Wasn't, there wasn't no foreplay. Fuck foreplay. I'm wet in the car. I'm wet in the car. You thinking about that dick. I was wet in the car thinking about what's going to go down. Going like, you for feel it. me? Like, I was wet in jail thinking about what was about to go down. Like, no, I didn't need for For what? For what? Like, for play like, for, for what? what? For what? <laughs> okay, so then you go back to church. <laughs> <laughs> then we went to church. Oh, you go back to the pickup. Yeah, I go back to the halfway house, and I actually got in trouble because they're like, oh, well, you took that picture, and it looked like church. And I'm like, yes, the fuck it did. Like, let me show you how to picture. It kind of did look like a church hallway. Let me see. It was a hotel hallway, but it looks like a church hallway. If the walls were yellow, it was church. <laughs> yellow or white, it was church. Okay, let me show you how to picture. But My church is called the Radisson. Nobody couldn't tell me this. Nobody couldn't tell me this was church. I Listen, this was church. I was thinking God. <laughs> and by the way, you, they always say you can't find God in no man-made temple, so church can be anywhere. Exactly, Ooh. right? Yeah. I should have said that to them. Okay, you ready? Yes, let me see. What do we think? Does it look like church? <laughs> <laughs> no, because it'll carpet. <laughs> That is hotel carpet all day. Let me see. If it I wasn't that, that's, that it's, the, it's the hotel oh, yeah. carpet. <laughs> if the carpet was like one plain color, on. that could have been be church. In the hallway of the church. No, the carpet would have to be one I solid look color. Caption Sunday session. <laughs> no, you did. <laughs> it was a Sunday session. No, exactly. no, I'm saying it was a and Sunday I, I, session. Sunday session. It was a Sunday session. And I put the hands. <laughs> like, Does it mean anything? <laughs> Doesn't this mean anything? Oh. 
Come on. That That's don't look like it. Come shit. on. No. It don't? <laughs> Not nah. at all. Oh. This is clear. I wonder if you'd have showed me that picture before the story would I have thought that was a chuck. <laughs> but it's the it's the carpet. It would be a solid but color. But look, the light. The, the all of that is churchy. All that is churchy. Yeah. Look, look at the caption. Come on. Nah. You I'm know what you're doing. I'm not mad at I'm you. I'm not mad at it. All right. Uh, if you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. Uh, if you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. Uh, Star Brim, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you. Humble the poet. Sorry we couldn't talk to you longer. It's okay. I'm having so much fun just watching this. I love when Humble comes. I didn't even know I was supposed to be on the podcast. I thought I was coming to kick it. All right. Uh, it's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. And go download that. Uh, uh, what is it? Let it- don't play with me. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't she keep said, it beaut yeah. keep it beaut yeah. boy I was keep under pressure it, I had to yeah. remember that shit <laughs> keep, keep it beaut right? <laughs> don't play with me keep it beaut podcast yes keep it beaut everywhere you get podcasts now yes every episode drops on Wednesdays so go download that word it's the brilliant idiot thank you for listening peace